you love cookies. In this video. Good morning, Sarah. Whoa, your hair looks so different. It's amazing. Thanks. What are you wearing on your back? Oh, it's my refrigerated backpack. Isn't it cool? Wow. Oh, you are so weird. Well, I know that, but maybe we can convince her to be a nice person. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Ay, 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 Molly. Could you ever pay attention in class? No, because she's a loser. You're a nerd. She's a loser. Got it. Um, we're researching why Sarah became a bully. Because no one's born a bully, so there must be a reason for it. Well, I think the reason why she's a bully is because, well, she was probably, like, picked on in her old school. Wait, you think that she wasn't actually a bully in her old school? No, maybe she wasn't. Molly, look at this. I think that's actually Sarah. What? She looks like a... a nerd. What? OMG, Molly, can you park the car by... I'm trying, okay? Just got my driver's license. I don't know why they even gave you a driver's license, Molly. Look look how you're parking. You're going over the white line. All right, let me just reposition and... Ugh. One eternity later. Everyone at school is watching us right now. This is humiliating. Ah, uh, 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 I got it! Now we're ready to curve a little bit. Oh, good wait. Sue and Ashley saw that whole thing. They're gonna make fun of us. Ugh, they're such bullies. Hey, everybody, did you just see that? <laughs> they totally parked like dweebs. Yeah, they're total dorks. They can't even drive. They're so weird and annoying. Um, good morning, Sarah. Whoa, your hair looks so different. It's amazing. Thanks. What are you wearing on your back? Oh, it's my refrigerated backpack. Isn't it cool? Wow. Oh, when the lunch lady decides to feed us sauerkraut sandwiches, I pack my lunch, but I need options. And this has a lot of them. Look at all these delicious snacks. Ugh, oh, you are so weird. Uh, okay, I'm going into school. <coughs> so, well, why are you going to be so mean so much? You know, like, we, we're just trying to get a good education. Whatever, loser. Stop talking to us. Why do you think she's so mean, Molly? I don't know. I think she was born a bully. Molly, no one's born a bully. Something must have happened to make her like that. We should do some research and find out. Why would I care that much about why Sarah's a bully? Because maybe if we could find out, we could, you know, like... Become a friend and make a friend. Daisy, first rule of school is you cannot control any other person but yourself. Well, I know that, but maybe we can convince her to be a nice person. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that. Okay, class. Okay, everybody settle down and be quiet, please. Science is very important, and we have a lot to go over today. All right. The first question in your homework was, how far away is the sun? How far away is the sun? Ugh, is Daisy the only one that ever answers any questions in this class? I know the answer, though. I looked this up last night, and I thought it was fascinating. <laughs> Uh, anyone else want to answer any of the questions? Does anyone else even pay attention in this class? No, just Daisy because she's a nerd. <gasps> okay, Sarah, that's enough. All right, Daisy, why don't you tell us the answer, please? The sun is 93 million miles away from the earth. Very good. The rest of you have a lot of work to do. We're going to be having a quiz this week, so I suggest that you actually do your work. Who's eating in class? Molly, I should have known. Sorry, I'm checking out the molecular structure of these Doritos. As I eat them, of course. Ay, 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 Molly. Could you ever pay attention in class? No, because she's a loser. You're a nerd. She's a loser. Got it. Ugh, I really do not like school. Because the bullies are always so well bullying. <laughs> Duh. Loser. Ow. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had a doctor's appointment today. 
Hi, Brookie. Molly, what's wrong? You look really angry. I'm just so sick of Sarah and the other baddies in this school. They're so annoying, and she's the she's the queen of bullies. Like I said, Molly, are you in for researching why she's like that, or are you out? Oh, I'm in. I'm definitely in. Uh, what are we talking about, guys? Want to let me in on the little secret, please? Um, we're researching why Sarah became a bully. Because no one's born a bully, so there must be a reason for it. Well, I think the reason why she's a bully is because, well, she was probably, like, picked on in her old school. Wait, you think that she wasn't actually a bully in her old school? No, maybe she wasn't. Molly, we should look through her old school's yearbook and see if we can find photos of her. Come on, let's go Google it. Daisy, where's your phone? We can Google it right here. I left it in my locker because a good student doesn't carry their phone at school. Oh, you really are a goody two-shoes, Daisy. Whatever, Molly. I just follow the rules and get good grades, and I'm going to have an amazing life because... Wow. If you say so. My life's amazing right now, basically, because I'm eating all this pizza. <laughs> so good. Molly, look at this. I think that's actually Sarah. What? She looks like a... A nerd. What? I'm speechless. Well, that's a first. Whatever, Molly. Shh. OMG. Let's see if we can find some old Snapchats or videos or something of her. I found one, Molly. Look at this. Bianca, what are you wearing today? Um, I'm wearing uh, my boyfriend's football jacket. What? No. That is such a loser thing to do. But I'm a cheerleader, Brittany. It's what everybody would do. They would wear their boyfriend's jacket. Ugh, whatever. You're such a loser these days. What? No, I'm one of the baddies. What are you talking about? You're starting to be like Sarah? Ugh, yuck. Wow, I don't know what's wrong with you, Brittany, but you've been really rude to me. I thought we were friends. No. Bianca, if you're going to act like a loser, you can't be my friend. Now, let's bully Sarah a little bit or you're kicked out of the baddies club. Oh no, there's the baddies club. Oh, oh, look who it is. Sarah, hey, did we give you permission to go to your locker yet? Good job, Bianca. Now remember, I'm in charge of the baddies club. And show me what you're made of. If you can't be a good enough baddie, you're kicked out of the popular club. Um, okay, I want to be popular, or I'll be teased all day. Hey, Sarah, why don't you get a clue? Your glasses are ridiculous. Your braces make you look like a total dork. Ow. Uh, well, um, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Your breath smells worse than my yeah. kitty litter box. Uh, okay. Um, I'll just be leaving now. <laughs> I feel horrible for being like that, but I want to keep being popular. That's right. You do, Bianca. So make sure that you stay on my good side. Thank you, Brittany. I will. Maybe I, may I be excused? Yes, you can leave now. Thank you, Brittany. I'm terrible about myself. I want to be popular, but at what cost? Oh. <laughs> okay, now I really feel terrible about myself. Sarah? Just go away, Bianca. I know I'm not cool and I'm a loser. And I don't need you to remind me, okay? <laughs> Sarah, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I want to help you get, well, revenge. What? Revenge? What do you mean? I mean, you know what? Being friends with Brittany isn't all that I thought it would be. She's rude, and she makes me feel bad about myself. And I want to teach you how to be the baddest at this school. Show her who's boss. Me? Oh, just a dork, a nerd, a loser. 
I could never be popular. Don't say that, Sarah. You don't realize it, but you have all of what it takes to be the baddest baddie in this entire school. Uh oh! And I'm gonna train you how. The salon? What are we doing here? What we're doing here is making you less losery and more baddie. Hmm. Let's see if we can get you some contacts too. We need to lose those nerdy glasses. But I like my glasses! They remind me of Velma from Scooby Doo. Okay, first of all, stop liking Scooby Doo. Stop liking SpongeBob. You're five years old. Like, I told you I was never gonna be anything but a nerd and a dork. Don't say that. This makeover is gonna work because I'm in charge of it, and it has to. Now come on, let's get you a mani and a petty first. <laughs> stop wiggling! I can't do your nails when you're wiggling all around. Sarah, stop it! <laughs> it just tickles! I've never had a manicure before, and now I see why. <laughs> it's so tickly! Ugh, hold still! If you wanna be popular and stop getting teased at school, I need to give you this makeover! Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this hair. I think that we should dye it blonde. Wow. What? Blonde? But my hair isn't blonde, it's brown. That would kind of be like a lie. Exactly. Let's lie about everything that you are, Sarah. You are going to be transformed like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon. You're looking so much better, Sarah. Now something to do with your face. Those clothes are terrible. What? I love my SpongeBob shirt. We are burning it. We are having a bonfire with it, Sarah. It is so ugly and not cool. Whoa, I can see why Brittany wants to be your friend, Bianca. You can be mean and harsh. Oh, sorry, Sarah. I guess I've been in the baddies club a little too long. Come on, let's go to Rockstar and pick out a new outfit for you. Then we can do your makeup. Look, it's a modeling agency, Bianca. Do you think after my makeup, um, I'll be able to go up there and get a job as a model? Uh, I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> Sarah. Uh, you're not that Gee, thanks. First rule of being a baddie, don't show weakness. You just showed me that that hurt your feelings, and that's not how we are. We don't show that anything hurts our feelings. Don't show weakness. Um, okay. Next, always have an attitude. Talk like me, try it. I'm not sure that I can. Yes, you can. You just need to practice, try it. Um, you're so, uh, nice. No, 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 Sarah. Try again. You're really ugly. Perfect, Sarah. Now I just need you to have a little bit more attitude in your voice. Ahem. Uh, okay. Um. Ahem. Uh, You're so ugly. Yes, Sarah, that's perfect. I knew that you could be the baddest baddie of them all. Come on, let's go get you some new clothes. This is good. This is good. This is good. Here, Sarah, go in the dressing room and try all of these on. I want to see how they fit you. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you're learning so quickly, Sarah. Super, super amazing, but you're not a baddie yet. Go put these clothes on. I don't know, Bianca, this doesn't really feel like me. Exactly, it's not supposed to feel like you, Sarah. The previous you was a loser and a nerd and completely unpopular. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. I do look pretty amazing, jinkies. I can't even believe it. Don't ever say jinkies or any other cheesy and dorky catchphrases like holy guacamole or anything else like that. You seem like a total loser. And if someone makes fun of you, make sure you make fun of them back. Wow, that sounds mean. And lastly, don't be the teacher's pet. Nothing says nerd more than, oh, I love this homework. Could I have some more homework? Stop doing that, Sarah. Now, let me see your, well, meanest face. No, I didn't say rabid vampire. I said your meanest batty face. Dial it back a little, you're drooling. Ow. No, now you look like you have to go poop. 
Try again. <laughs> no! Still not good. Ew, you look ugly. Try again. <laughs> Perfect, Sarah. Perfect. Now, let me hear your bully voice. Whatever, Bianca. I'm just getting really annoyed by you right now. And seriously, wearing that jacket of your boyfriend's? So lame. Whoa, you sound like Britney. A little too like Britney. <gasps> well, if you weren't such a loser, I wouldn't have to sound like Britney. Now would I, Bianca? Um, okay, Sarah, you can stop now. We're friends, remember? We're not friends. I'm the baddest baddie of this school. Ah, uh, but, but I thought if I helped you, we could be friends. We could create a new baddie club. What? <laughs> I don't need a club of baddies. I am the baddie. The only baddie. Thanks for the makeover, loser. Wait, Sarah! Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. My revenge kind of turned against me. Ah! Oh, no. There you are, Brittany. What are you doing? What's it look like I'm doing, Bianca? Playing on my phone. We have a problem. There's a new baddie in the school, and, and she's going to take over. What? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm the biggest baddie, and you're my crony. That's how it goes. <laughs> no, no, Brittany. You're not going to believe this. Well, who is it? Is it a new student? Uh, no. It's Sarah. <laughs> what is it, April Fool's Day? Are you kidding me? She would never be the baddest baddie. She is, though. I swear it. She's so mean and bullied me and... Well, how did she learn how to be a baddie, Bianca? Uh-oh! Uh, uh... Did you teach her our baddie ways? <gasps> um, uh... Oh, my God! Bianca! Back off, losers. Uh, Sarah, we could still be friends. Why? You're a loser. I don't even want to talk to you. You don't even exist on the same planet. Oh my god, Bianca, this is all your fault. She's going to take over my spot of being the, the president of the batty club. Ugh, you're the worst. <laughs> Did you get your revenge, loser? Uh, yeah, sort of, Sarah, except for now you've taken Brittany's place as my bully. <laughs> That's right. And don't forget it, Bianca. Oh, man. I can ask my mom if I can be homeschooled. <coughs> Holy guacamole. You found all of those videos about Sarah's life at her other school on Snapchat? Yeah, Molly, you can find anything on there these days. OMG, Sarah actually used to be a nerd loser? Ow. And then, one of the bullies helped her turn into a baddie? <laughs> Seems like that's the case, Molly. She wasn't any different than you or I. Well, she seemed kind of smarter than you, Molly. Hey, Daisy! <laughs> Whoa, that makes so much sense. That's exactly what I thought happened. That she turned into a bully because other people were bullying her. So what does this mean? Does this mean I need to turn into a bully and get revenge and then... No, Molly, then it just repeats the cycle. That's a bad <laughs> idea. But with this knowledge, we should be able to figure something out. I just can't believe that Sarah was actually a dork at her old school. Well, believe it, Molly. Snapchat never lies. Holy guacamole. Losers, you're standing in front of my locker. Move it. Loser? <laughs> Sounds to me like you know a lot about being a loser. <gasps> what? What did you just say to me? Um, should I show the Snapchat videos? Uh -oh. What Snapchat videos? What are you talking about? We're talking about your old school. With your old life. And your old loserness. What? What are you talking about? That wasn't me. Actually, so that looks a lot like you. You, you, and you. And here's your picture in the yearbook. What? Stop talking to me, losers. Get out of here. We know your secret, Sarah. And I would suggest you don't bully us anymore. Because I'll tell everybody in the school. <laughs> I can't believe it. My mom actually slept in later than me on a school day. Mom? Mom, are you okay? Are you sick? 
<coughs> what? Wait, what time is it? Mom, it's 7.23! What? Oh my gosh, I overslept! Oh, baby Kira got up like three times in the night, and, and I'm just so tired, and... Mom, it's okay, but um, we probably need to go through the drive-thru for breakfast. Sounds good to me. McDonald's eggy cheesy sandwiches for everyone? Wow. Yep, totally, Mom. Okay, let me just um grab some clothes. I'll be right down there. Is your baby sister up? Yeah, she's already watching TV with um Daisy. They're probably watching cartoons or something. All right, I'll be down in like five seconds. No problem, Mom. I mean, we could just stay home from school today if you want. Molly, look at this. They're talking about something crazy going about booking. <gasps> Why are you watching the news? It interrupted the cartoons we were watching. Thanks so much, Bruce. It's me, Brittany, your Brookhaven News Source. And today, we are learning about a new illness that's going around Brookhaven. Uh, medical professionals say that it's really not any worse than the common cold. And if everyone washes their hands, you should be fine. Nobody panic, please. Just wash your hands. Back to you, Bruce. Yeah, just jump in and run. Baby Kara, you have so much energy. See, DC, there's nothing to worry about. They just said it's like the common cold. Wash your hands, you should be fine. I jump in round a lot. I like to jump. Oh. Okay, girls, come on. We're gonna be late for school. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in the car. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, mom, we're going, we're going. We're still stopping McDonald's, though, right? Uh yeah, of course. I need coffee. Lots of it. I want Happy Meal. Sorry, baby Kira. They don't serve Happy Meals at 8 a.m. What? I don't like McDonald's. Why do you not have Happy Meals in the morning? Because they don't. You can only have them for lunch or dinner. You have to have an eggy cheesy sandwich. I want to. Okay, we don't have time to argue, girls. Come on. Everybody in the car. Coming, Mom. I can't believe I overslept. It's okay, Mom. I'm not in any hurry to get to school. <laughs> I bet you aren't, Molly. But I don't want you to be late and get detention. Oh man, the drive line is so long. I mean, what? There's a there's a tourist bus? Oh, they're probably all inside right now. Why are they parked in the drive Because there was nowhere else in the parking lot that they could fit in, Mom. Ugh, there's like three cars ahead of us in the drive through and there's a giant travel bus in inside. Man, this is going to take forever to get our food. You guys are going to be so late for school. Huh? I'm not really minding, like I said. Well, I am. I've got tons of YouTube videos to make today. Wow. I need to get home and get to work. Mom, you can pull up. You're, like, so far away. I'm just giving that vacation bus a little bit of room. One time when I was driving through a drive-thru, they backed up into my bumper. Wow, yeah. That would be the worst Monday ever. It would be the Mondayest of Mondays. Besides this epic illness that's going around, Daisy, the news already said, it's just like the cold. If you just wash your hands, you'll be fine. Do you believe everything on the news? I don't. One eternity later. Welcome to McDonald's. Here's your food. <coughs> <gasps> Did she just cough on our breakfast sandwiches? Yeah, I think she did. Mom, get out of here. She's got that virus. We don't want it. Yeah, I don't want to eat someone else's germs. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, not what I'm going to feed you girls before you go to school. I'll have to dig around in my purse and see if there's any snacks. I'm so hungry. Well, I have a chocolate bar that you guys can split. Oh, that'll have to do, Mom. Bye, girls. Have a great day. Yeah, if you could call school, great. Bye, Mom. Okay, baby Kira, we're at your daycare. Oh, you're going to be so having so much fun today. Your teacher told me it's bubble day. Oh, I got bubble day. Let go, Mommy. Wow, look at all the cars piled outside the emergency room. <gasps> Hello, can somebody help me? My baby, he's sick. I don't know what's wrong with him. He keeps coughing and... And I need some help. Oh, look at all these cars. I hope someone, someone's available to help my baby. Please, my baby's coughing and he's sick. Oh, I don't feel so good. I wonder what this is all about. 
Is this that little cold that they were talking about on the news? It doesn't seem like such a little cold to me. Seems like a lot of people are getting really sick if they have to be at the hospital. Time to make some YouTube videos. What game should I play today? Weird strict dad? Oh, that game totally kind of creeped me out. What? Oh, this computer's such a piece of junk. I thought when I upgraded from my Packard Bell that this would be so much better. Jeez, thanks, Mac. Wait, what? Okay, it's not my computer. It's actually a warning. Severe outbreak in Brookhaven? This little cold doesn't sound like such a little cold anymore. I better check the news. Hi, citizens of Brookhaven. It's me, Brittany, your friendly newscaster. And while it seems the illness has spread a little farther throughout Brookhaven, there's still no need to panic. That's what I said. No need to panic. Just wash your hands and everything will be fine. Put a smile on your face and... It's the end of days! I warned everyone this day was coming. What? What's this homeless guy doing here? Someone get this guy out of here. People, listen to me. This is going to destroy our town, just like it did other towns in Roblox. <gasps> Stay inside, lock your doors, or leave now while you still can. Um, this guy definitely has gone totally bonkers. Don't listen to him, guys. No need to panic. Would you not believe your innocent, sweet newscaster, Brittany? Don't believe this crazy guy. All right, somebody get him out of here. Come on, turn off the news feed. He's acting crazy. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Uh, hello? Honey, it's me. Honey, have you seen this crazy stuff going on at the police station, too? Yes, something really strange is going on in Brookhaven. They haven't given me even that much information. But you're a police officer. They should tell you what's going on. All we know is this virus is spreading. I think you need to go get the girls. Yeah, I agree. Then go right back home and lock the door. And don't let anybody inside. Honey, is everything okay? Can you come home? I need to stay here at the station and help out with the other police officers. But go get the girls right now. I will, honey. Stay safe. You too. Bye. Daisy, there's mom! There's mom! Oh, thank goodness. Mom! Girls, what are you doing outside the school? Um, our teacher has gone a little bit, well, bonkers. <coughs> so hungry. Holy guacamole. She must have the virus. Yeah, but don't worry, Mom. We didn't get near her. We were in the back of the classroom. All right, girls, get in the van. Come on. We need to go pick up your baby, sister. And quick. Yes, yeah, something really crazy is going on here. I just knew this was going to happen. As a budding scientist, we see these sorts of things in our theories all the time. Wait. Where is everybody at Baby Care's daycare? Uh, maybe they evacuated. Things have gotten kind of crazy around here. OMG. Girls, we have to find her. Don't worry, Mom. We will. We'll find her. Baby Kira? She's not in any of these cribs. Um, let me look over here, Mom. Okay, no, she's not over here, Weevil. Oh, my gosh. Where is she? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? <laughs> Mom? <gasps> Baby Kira, are you okay? I, I didn't heal because everybody was coughing and acting crazy. <coughs> Oh, it's okay, baby Kira. Come on. Mom's here, and Daisy's here, and I'm here. We're going to get out of here now. Come on. What? A police helicopter? That can't be good. Come on, girls. Get inside. They're sending helicopters all over the town. Dad said to stay inside and lock the doors. Don't open them for anyone. Whoa. This is cool. Hurry up, Molly. Lock the door. Okay, it's locked. We're safe, Mom. Everything's fine. Uh... Molly, did you not eat enough lunch? Your stomach's growling. Uh, that wasn't me. Uh... What was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like it was coming from upstairs. I so wish that was your stomach, Molly. Well, it's not. Sorry to disappoint. Uh... 
go check. I'm kind of afraid, but since I'm the only grown-up here, I guess I have to be brave. Whoever it is, just know I'm armed. Mom, you have a mop. Well, it's all I had, okay? Shh. What's that awful smell? Ew. Wh what? What's that? <sighs> Girls, go back and get in the car. Hurry! But you just told us to come in here and lock the door. Girls, do what I say! Cheapers, creepers, I wish she'd make up her mind. All right, Daisy, come on. Let's go get back in the car. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I can't open the door. Molly, hurry up. Mom said to hurry. Okay, I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Do you think Bob's coming? Is everything okay? I get your boy. Yeah, yeah, you get your boy. Maybe here, just put on your seatbelt. Mom, hurry. I don't know what's going on, but it sounds like it's not good. I'm coming, girls. I'm coming. Mom, what's going on? Did you find a rat up there or something? No. I found somebody infected with this virus. They were like, totally like a, like a, this is going to sound crazy, but like a zombie. You have to leave town. And I need to call your dad and tell him to hurry. Hurry and meet us at the border. What? No answer? What's happening? I don't know, Daisy, but Mom can't get a hold of Dad. He'd want me to just take you guys somewhere else, to a new town. We're going to Blacksburg. Mom, do you need directions? Of course I do! I don't even... I don't live in Blacksburg. I don't know how to get there. Okay, just the GPS and everything will be fine. Mom, um... I don't want to live in Blacksburg. Well, do you want to live where there's a zombie apocalypse? Not particularly. Exactly my point. What? There's some sort of police installation blocking the way out of Brookhaven. <gasps> oh my gosh. Why? I don't know. They want to keep us here. But the bigger question is, who put up this police tape? It looks ridiculous. <laughs> I did. Oh, that explains a lot. No one's allowed to cross over this border. If you live in Brookhaven, you're stuck here. <laughs> what? But but there's a virus in... And you might have it. So no can do. Mom, um, he's not really looking at us. Yes, I am. No, no, you're not. I am looking at you. Okay, I can't really tell. But what I'm saying is, is that we can sneak. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. There's probably more cops inside there. Uh -oh. Is that a person they have trapped back there? Wait, there's more than one. Hey, you're not supposed to cross police line. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hungry. So hungry. Oh, well, it's a good thing for you that I packed some pizza in my backpack. It may be a little smushed, but uh, it's still tasty. And you really look hungry, so I want you to have it. Ew. That smells gross, but your brain smells delicious. Ah! What? My brain? That's why I said don't cross police lines. Ah! Oh my gosh, Mom. This wasn't the common cold. This is a giant apocalypse. Oh my God, Mommy, go get in the car, quick. Mom, where are we going to go? I want to go this place out in the forest with an abandoned little cottage. I'm sure that no one's out there. My mom and dad used to take me there when I was camping, when we were camping as kids. And I don't think anybody knows about it but me and your dad. I hope we're safe there. Dad will know to meet us there. I just know it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I hear that the zombies are cool. Oh, yeah, no. Zombies are not cool. Zombies are not cool. This bean burrito is so good. I've only eaten like five of them today. Oh, but it's so delicious. Hi, welcome to Rockstar. Is there anything I can help you find today? Yeah, something that will um, basically fit my gigantic belly. Oh yeah, um, well, I think there's some stuff over there. Thanks. My baby's going to be coming any day, and she's asking me to eat all this food. It's like I can't even button my pants anymore. I hope this baby comes soon. Seriously, nothing fits me. 
My daddy used to be so rich. And then we lost all of our money and we're poor. Now I have to work a job and I can't even go shopping at Rockstar anymore. I love that store. Well, maybe I'll just go in and look at some stuff. Look at that, it's so cute. Oh, hey, you're so lucky because you're not pregnant, so you could actually fit in those things. Yeah, you look really pregnant. Um, gee, thanks, I guess. Um, I can help you pick out some outfits if you want. Oh, no, that's okay. I just basically need the fattest pants they have. You know what? I could just take a few little things from Rockstar. No one would ever know. <laughs> and besides, I need this. I have to look cute, and I don't have any money. Uh-oh. Okay, your total will be $229.63. Wow. Oh, that's so expensive. The baby isn't even born yet, and I'm spending so much money. Hey, uh, thank you so much for trying to help me figure out what I could wear through the final trimester of my pregnancy. That was really nice of you. Oh, no problem. Hey, uh, could you take my bag outside? I, I just have to go to the bathroom really quick, and then I could meet you out there, and I could get my bag back. You know, I just, I don't like to take my stuff into the bathroom. Sure, no problem. Here, just pile your bag on top of mine. Gee, thanks so much. I'll meet you outside. Have a nice day, ma'am. Um, ma'am, come back here, please. What? I paid for everything. It must be she forgot to remove one of the tags. Let me just look through your bag, please. Uh, let me see your receipt, please. Uh, okay, here you go. Ma'am, there's a bunch of stolen merchandise in these bags. Wait, what? I paid! You saw me pay! I only saw you pay for some of the stuff, ma'am. I think maybe you were just trying to steal a bunch of it, too. What? I wouldn't do that! Um, I'm gonna have to call the police. Wait right here. Wait, what? Wait, what's happening? I didn't steal anything! I swear it! Wait a minute. That other girl had me hold her bag. She didn't check out, I bet. Wait a minute. Someone else stole this stuff, not me. Really? Because it's in your bags and you're carrying it. So it looks like you're the thief to me. I'm telling you, this was all a huge mistake. I, I'm pregnant. I can't go to jail. Ma'am, you have the right to remain silent. You're going to jail. Uh -oh. But I'm telling you, I'm pregnant. You don't look that pregnant to me. Really? My pants don't even button. Maybe you just ate too many bean burritos. You want to make excuses about why you can't go to jail. What? No, I actually am pregnant. Ma'am, come get in the cop car. Don't cause a scene. Oh, this is bad. Really bad. Um, excuse me, officer? You have the right to remain silent. That means be quiet. Okay, yeah, I know, but I'm pregnant, so I'm I'm really hungry. Do you have a bean burrito or a snack or something? Uh, maybe a piece of pizza? What? No. Okay, well, you're a cop. Maybe you have a donut? Come on. My baby's really hungry. I'm in my last trimester, and all she does is eat. Lady, when I say you have the right to remain silent, I mean just be quiet. He doesn't even believe me that I'm pregnant. Hey, Larry. Hey, Sue. You just came in just in time to do an interrogation. Some woman claiming she's pregnant and she stole a bunch of goods from the Rockstar store. Oh, great. Another one of those. Hey, Larry, save me a donut. You got it, Sue. Well, 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 well. What do we have here? Are you a thief? Um, no. I didn't steal anything. I've been framed. There was this other girl in the store, and she she put stuff in this bag, and she told me she had to go to the bathroom, and then we I walked through the bu buzzer, and then and then the, the security things. I mean, I'm just getting frazzled because I'm in jail, and I'm pregnant, and I, it's not my fault. Well, well, well. Sounds like you're, well, frazzled because you're guilty. What? I'm not guilty. Really? Hmm. We'll see about that. Can I have a snack? I'm really hungry. What? No. 
no food or water, to admit that you're guilty. But I'm pregnant! I need my baby to eat, and I have to have something to drink! Well then, admit your guilt. But, but, but I'm not guilty. Guilt or no food or water? I could be here all week. One time, I went seven days interrogating somebody. No break. Not even a potty break. Okay, um, if I admit I'm guilty, can I go home and, and have a snack? Mm, you can have a snack. Okay, uh, I'm guilty. I mean, not really, but you said you're guilty. Prison time for you, honey. Here's your dinner, Mrs. Acker. Yeah. I suggest that you enjoy it. No snacks after dinner. No dessert in prison. What? This is the worst place ever. No desserts? Are you kidding me? What do you think this is? A luxury vacation? <laughs> You're a criminal. You admitted it. But my baby, she loves ice cream. I don't care. I don't even believe you that you're actually pregnant. I think you're just trying to use that as an excuse to get out of here. What? No, I'm not! I see you found the donuts, Sue. That's right. Ugh, I'm gonna need about a dozen from Duncan. This police record's about a mile long. Oh! What was that? Was that your stomach? No, you can't eat my donut again, Larry. You always eat the blueberry ones, and they're my favorite. Sue, that wasn't my stomach. It sounded like it was coming from cell number two. Uh, don't touch my donut. I'll be right back. Uh, oh my gosh, what's going on with her? What's wrong with you? I'm in labor. Please, call 911. Maybe she actually was pregnant. Oopsie. Okay, okay, I'll call 911. But you're coming back to prison as soon as you have your baby. Oh, my baby, it's, it's coming. Keep a close eye on this one, doctor. She's a thief and a criminal. I'll be right outside the room. And then you're going right back to jail, Mrs. Acker. Oh, Oh, this baby needs to come out now. Congratulations, you had a baby girl. Oh, she's adorable. I just want to go home. Yeah, if you mean your home is back to the prison cell. Now that you've had that baby, it's time to go. Excuse me, officer, but I would never recommend sending mom and baby back to the jail when, you know, obviously she needs to recuperate. Fine. That sounds good. In the meantime, we're going to have to figure out what to do with your baby. It can't live in the jail with you. Uh -oh. What? You can't take my baby from me. Actually, we can and we will. Attention, attention. We have free Dunkin' Donuts in the lobby. Free Dunkin' Donuts in the lobby. Oh, this is my chance. I, I have to go, my sweet little baby. Don't worry, I'll find you. As soon as I can prove my innocence and we'll be together again, my sweetheart. I promise, your mommy's not a criminal. I know, sweetie. I'm going to miss you, too. I love you more than anything in the whole world. And I'm sorry I have to go now. But it's no life for me to be in prison. And it's no life for us to be separated from one another. I fi I'll find you. I promise I will. Mmm, this donut is delicious. What? What? What is this? A baby? What? Where's the criminal? Oh my gosh. Somebody call for backup. Oh wait, I'm the cop. I need to call for backup. Okay, I'm trying to call for backup, but I can't because this baby is crying and I don't know what to do because I'm not a mom and I don't know how to take care of babies. Okay, okay. I'll just find my cell phone and I'll call for backup. Where's my cell phone? Oh, okay. There it is. Um, 911, what's your emergency? Yes, um, this criminal got away while she was giving birth, and I didn't mean to go for a donut. I mean, I did, because I was really hungry, but I went for a donut for one second, and she got away. What? 
You left the criminal because you were hungry? Ugh, you are a bad cop. What? No, I'm just a normal cop. I need to have snacks, and the donuts smelled good. What do I do about this baby? Bring it back to the station and we'll figure out there. Okay, bye. Ah, uh, shush, little baby, don't say a word, or I'm gonna put you in prison. Okay, uh, that was the wrong thing to say. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do with this baby. There you are, Sue. I'm gonna have to put you on probation for losing a criminal. Are you kidding me? Yeah, and uh, what are we gonna do about this little baby here? Well, I don't really know. The adoption center is completely full. I guess she'll have to stay here with us. What? I don't know anything about babies. Well, I guess we're about to learn. OMG. How did I get stuck with this? Well, because you lost the mother. And, well, now you have to take care of the baby. Well, it's not like the mom would have come back to prison with the baby anyway. Actually, my plan was to let the baby stay here with its mother until there was space at the adoption center. But since you lost the criminal... I didn't lose her. She ran away. She is a criminal, you know. Well, since you turned your back and the criminal escaped, now it's your responsibility to take care of this baby until the space at the adoption center opens up. Oh, M.G. Ugh, babies. They smell like poop. Well, that's because they poop a lot. I suggest going to the grocery store and getting some diapers. You're going to need them. Ugh, this stinks. Shh, shh, shh. Come on, little baby. Shh, shh, shh. Everything's going to be fine. At least I hope so. Hi, Lou. Um, what's for dessert? You know, Molly, that inmates don't get dessert. Well, technically, I'm not an inmate. Uh, my mom should have been. Exactly. You live here because there's no room for you at the adoption center. And that makes you an inmate because you live here. None of the cops live here, so we get dessert. What? That doesn't seem fair. I do all the chores I'm supposed to, and I think that I should be allowed to have some dessert. No. Go do your homeschooling. Ugh, I have never had anything delicious for dessert in the entirety of my life. It stinks so bad. Oh, Molly, turn that frown upside down. Did you forget that tomorrow's your birthday? No, but who cares? I don't even get a birthday cake. Well, no inmate gets a birthday cake. But I'm not technically an inmate. I do have your annual letter. <laughs> and I don't know who's sending these to you, but... No, uh, whatever. Don't really care. I gotta go back and eat my donuts. Ugh, it's just another one of these crummy letters that's like a code. It just has like a couple of letters on it. And every year I get one of these and I have no idea why or who it's from. I have no family. And, and if it was my mom, don't you think she'd write something like, I miss you on it? Or meet me here when you get out of prison when you're 18? No, she gave up on me a long time ago. She just left me in this jail to rot. Like a, like a prisoner, like a criminal. Good morning, inmate. Time to wake up, 7 a.m. Ah, for the last time, I'm not actually an inmate. I'm just a kid that got stuck here. Well, well, well. You have chores to do like all the other people who live here. Today's my birthday. I'm not cleaning toilets on my birthday, officer. Oh, on the contrary, you sure are, or you're not going to get any breakfast. Fine. Are you at least going to wish me a happy birthday? No, that's not in my job description. Now get cleaning. This place stinks. Literally, the toilets back up at least once a week. I've got the jailhouse blues. I've got the jailhouse blues. Less singing, more scrubbing. I've got the jailhouse blues. Wearing orange and these two sides.
size is too small, shoes. One day I'm gonna get out of here. I can't wait till I turn 18. Today's the day! Today, today, today! I'm 18! I finally get to get out of here! No more lock-ins, no more scrubbing toilets. I wonder what the real world is like. I've never been outside these prison walls. Not even once. There's a big world waiting for me. I can't wait to see it. Well, hello there. Your final letter has arrived, Molly, and now you can leave the prison. OMG! Where Sue? Sue quit. She said it was too much to have to take care of a kid. She was a cop, not a babysitter. Oh, well, can you tell her I'll miss her? I mean, she was the closest thing to I, ha I had to a mother. Sure, sure, kid. I'll let her know through an email. Here's your letter. Happy birthday. Wow, someone finally wished me a happy birthday. Now it's time to get out of here. I can't believe it. I'm actually out. Wow. Is this what the real world is like? I'll read this letter later. It's probably just boring letters anyway. Or a number or some weird stuff that someone sends me every year. It's like a code. What is that? Whoa. Ah! Ah! This thing is crazy! Ah! Let me off of here! Ah! I'm gonna throw up! Ah! 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 Okay, that was insane. What's this thing over here? Okay, so you climb up this ladder and... Wow! It throws you into the pool? <laughs> that was so fun. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> okay, being in the real world is so much fun and kind of crazy! <laughs> Whee! Free samples, free samples. What's that delicious smell? Oh, that's Starbucks where I work. <laughs> These are samples of all the treats and desserts and snacks we have. Are you serious? I can I can try some for free? Uh-huh, sure you can. Oh, M, G! Mm, this is delicious. Seriously? This is what the donuts that the cops eat taste like? Mmm, they're so good. Um, one, one free sample per customer. Sorry, I've never had desserts before. I'll have to have more. No, no, just one. Wait a minute. Are you wearing an orange jumpsuit? You are. You're a criminal. Uh -oh. What? No, wait, no. Oh, at least I got the donut for free. Now what am I going to do? What? It's raining? Are you serious? Oh, I don't know. Maybe being outside the prison wasn't such a great idea after all. Oh, I guess I'll just read my birthday letter alone in the rain. Dear Molly, it's me, your mom? Put together all of the letters that I gave you and you will find my location? Come find me? What? All of that was a code? Are you serious? I, I've got to go find my mom. I'm coming, Mom! I'll find you! Well, I decoded the message and it brought me to this house. Man, this place is, well, total poop. <coughs> huh, I guess Mom's still hiding from the law. Apparently the doorbell doesn't ring. <laughs> guess I should just knock. Huh, no one's home. Hello? Oh, are you? My daughter? Come in, come in before someone sees you. Are you my mom? I am your mom. You left me in prison! How could you? That's so rude! I'm so sorry. I I didn't want to do that, but no one believed me that I was innocent. I didn't steal anything. I just, I didn't want to raise you in prison. And I thought that they would find new parents for you and that I could come for you. But instead, because the adoption center was full, they just kept you there. I didn't know what to do, except for wait until you turned 18. I'm so sorry. I never got a happy birthday or a treat. All I did was scrub toilets. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. 
I promise you, though, I'm, I'm not a criminal. And we can be together now. But of course, no one can ever know our location. I don't care, Mom. At least we're together. And I made you this. A birthday cake? No one's ever given me a birthday cake before. I'm so happy you're here, Molly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Molly. Happy birthday to you. Blow out your candles, honey, and make a wish. My wish! It already came true! I found you, Mom! And now nothing's gonna tear us apart! Not anything! That's right, honey. I've become an expert at hiding, and we can hide together. Yeah, maybe we can go to Fiji or something. Sounds good to me, honey. Now come on, let's eat some of this cake, birthday girl. Okay, Mom. Sounds good. This pizza smells delicious. I'm so glad I decided to order it before Brookie got here to hang out. She's gonna love it. Wow. Ugh. It smells so good. I I'm just gonna have like a piece of it before she gets here because I'm so hungry. Ooh la la. Look at all that pepperoni and cheese. Oh yeah, definitely gonna have a slice of this. Mm. That is so good. Mm. I'm just gonna have like one more slice. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, just mm. there'll be plenty left over for Brookie. Mm. So good. Mm. Delicious pizza. Hey Molly. Oh, um, um hi Brookie. Uh that pizza smells delicious. Uh where is it? Uh oh. Um, uh Molly, did you eat all the pizza before I got here? I'm so hungry. <gasps> Well, we've been best friends since kindergarten, I'm pretty sure. Correction, Molly. We've been best friends since preschool. Ow. Apparently, all of your brain cells are currently in your stomach. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? But anyway, you've known me since uh, preschool, and you know that um, basically I'm going to eat everything in sight. It's just my personality. Ugh, Molly, I'm so hungry. Okay, um, well, you can have something like a piece of fruit. I wanted pizza. Ugh, I just sometimes wonder how we're even best friends. Uh -oh. What? You don't want to be my best friend anymore? Ah. No, no, I didn't say I didn't want to be your best friend. It's just sometimes when you do things like this, you don't save me even one slice, even one bite of pizza. I just wonder, do you want to be my BFF for life? <gasps> of course I do. I want to be your BFF forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I can just see the future now. Why isn't Brookie picking up? She's supposed to be here already. Ugh, I guess we're not going shopping at Rockstar. Let me try calling her again. Uh, hello? Brookie, it's me, Molly. You were supposed to be at my house so we could go shopping at Rockstar? I'm sorry, Molly. I'm just not really feeling that good today. <sighs> what? Every single time we've been trying to hang out in the like last two weeks, you're never feeling well. Are you okay? Are you dying? What? No, I'm just really tired. Oh, I'm just so sleepy. Have you been working late at night or something? No, my job's been fine. I'm just really, really tired. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay, Molly? Uh, okay, bye! What is going on with her? I'm grown up now, but like, she just never wants to hang out lately. I'm just gonna show up at her house and surprise her with some stuff that'll hopefully make her feel better. Brookie, it's me, Molly! What? What are you doing here? Ugh, I'm so tired. I wasn't expecting anybody to come over today. I brought you some flowers. I thought they'd cheer you up. Wow. Oh, that's really sweet of you, Molly, but I just need to go back to sleep. <coughs> what you need is some good food, and I brought you some. Oh, Ew, take that away from me. It smells terrible. What? Oh, uh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, my stomach. Uh-oh. Wow. I guess what I brought her really didn't cheer her up. 
Maybe she's got some sort of stomach bug. Bricky, are you okay? Yes, just go away. Ugh, my stomach hurts. And I need to go back to sleep. Okay, well, I'll just leave the takeout in your fridge just in case you want it later. I won't want it later. Ugh, it smelled terrible. <gasps> Since when doesn't she like takeout? That doesn't sound like Brookie at all. Brookie, I'll call you later and um, I'll check up on you, okay? Okay, thanks, Molly. Bye. Uh-oh. Bye. Ugh, I'm so worried about her. Honey, I'm home. There you are. Honey, what's wrong? I don't know. I just, I went over to see, well, actually, I do know. <laughs> You always do, and you're going to complain about it in three, two, one. What? I don't complain. Okay, yeah, I complain a little, but only when we're out of pizza. Honey, what's going on? Talk to me. I went over to see Brookie today because she never wants to hang out anymore. And and I thought maybe she didn't want me to be my BFF anymore, and... What? You guys have been BFF since kindergarten. Correction! Preschool! We've been BFF since preschool! Okay, so I'm sure it's not that she doesn't want to be your BFF. Even when you do eat all of the pizza. What? I haven't done that in years. You did that last Friday. Ow! Um, yeah, I did eat all the pizza on you. Oops, sort of my thing. Anyway, I went to see her and she's really feeling sick for real. Really? How long has she been feeling this way? Uh, I think like a couple of weeks. Whoa, has she seen a doctor? No, she's being really stubborn. Today I took her over some takeout and she didn't even want to eat her favorite takeout. She almost threw up when she smelled it. Yeah. Oh, something doesn't sound there, right there, honey. Well, come on, let's get started on dinner and we can talk about this some more. Thanks, Luke. You're a great husband. I try, honey. Even when you do eat all the pizza on me. <laughs> Oopsie. Mmm, that smells delicious. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Honey, even the smell of food can't cheer you up? Wow, you must really be sad. I'm just really worried about Brookie. What's wrong with her? I'm sure it's nothing, honey. People get sick and then they get better. And sometimes they don't. I know exactly what you need to turn that frown upside down. A dance party! Come on, dance party in the kitchen, honey. Dance party! I don't know. I'm not really in the mood for a kitchen dance party. Come on. Just move those legs. You're going to feel better. Come on, honey. Come on. You're right. A dance party is exactly what I needed. <laughs> See, honey, our kitchen dance parties are so fast. What dance move is that? I call it the too tired after work zombie dance. <laughs> I like your zombie dance. It's adorable. Whoa. Ugh. My stomach kind of hurts. What? Oh, gosh. I hope you didn't pick up what Brookie had. <gasps> nah. I wasn't even near her long enough. Ugh. Maybe it's what I ate for lunch. Be right back. Ugh. I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Honey, are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm just throwing... <laughs> A lot! Oh, boy. Honey, I think you may have caught what Brookie has. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know, but huh, no dinner for me. <gasps> oh, honey, do you need some 7-Up or something? No, I don't want to eat or drink anything. Honey, um, do you think that maybe uh you could be uh? What? Trying to get rid of the bean burrito I had for lunch? Possibly. No, honey, you eat bean burritos all the time. Since you were a kid, all they do is make you fart. <coughs> this seems a lot worse. I think maybe you should take a pregnancy test. Say what? Nah, can't be. Um, I don't know. I think maybe you should. I'll go down to the drugstore and get one. You stay here. Like I had another choice. Ugh, I feel terrible. Ow! Molly, I'm back. Okay. Go take the test, okay? Huh. I think you're being ridiculous right now, but okay. Probably just ate something that didn't agree with me. What's it say, honey? What's it say? Am I going to be a dad? What's it say? It says, um, you're being impatient and you have to wait two minutes. I wouldn't get your hopes up. I don't think I'm going to have a baby. 
I don't know, but what if it says yes? Diapers, honey, and and we need a crib, and- Uh-oh. He's freaking out over nothing. I'm sure it's just something I ate. Okay, I see one line. That means not pregnant. Let me see that thing. Honey, what's that really faint second line? What? what? No, that's just, that's nothing. It's a fluke. Honey, no. You are pregnant. Wait. What? I wasn't expecting this. I know. Me either. We're going to have a baby. Aren't you excited? I, I have to tell Brookie. Honey, it's pretty late at night and she hasn't been feeling good. I don't know if I'd go right now. Okay, yeah. I told her I'd call and check on her. And maybe she'd meet me tomorrow at the park or something. I can't believe it! We're gonna have a baby! Wow! I'm still in shock! Holy guacamole! Hello? Brookie, hey! How are you feeling? I feel like a tiny bit better. But I'm just still really tired. Well, hopefully you're getting better. Hey, look. I have something I need to talk to you about. Will you meet me at the park tomorrow at, like, lunch time? Sure, of course, as long as I can get out of bed. Oh my gosh, Brookie, I hope you do feel all better. Try to get a good night's sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye! Brookie, over here! Over here! Hey, Brookie, you look so much better. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I feel a little better. I mean, I was sick this morning, but I'm, I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, I'm so glad. You look so amazing today, Molly. It's like you're glowing. <laughs> I sort of feel like I'm glowing. Yeah, I'm just starting to feel like human again, so hopefully I get my glow back soon. You will, Bricky. You're gorgeous. Of course you're going to get your glow back. I'm just glad you're starting to feel better. Maybe you should go to the doctor. Um, that's the thing. I did. And I have some news to tell you. You do? Well, I have some news to tell you, too. Um, why didn't we meet at Brooks Diner? That's our favorite place to go. Because your stomach was so weird and food was making you so nauseous, I thought meeting at the park was probably a better idea. That way you didn't barf on the waitress. <laughs> Good point. So who's going to tell the other one their news first? Why don't we tell each other at the same time? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. I'M PREGNANT! Wait, what did you just say? I said I'm pregnant! Did you just say I'm pregnant? We're not supposed to be pregnant at the same time! Um, yeah, but we apparently are. This was supposed to be my big news. This was supposed to be my big news. How will you be in the delivery room with me? I can't do this all by myself. Well, your husband will be there. Yeah, but he's not my BFF. Besides, he'll just be like, well... You're okay, you're okay, but I won't be okay. I need you to be there. Well, I'm sorry, but I'll probably be busy having my own baby. Uh-oh. And that means you won't be there. I know. And, and, I mean, you're supposed to be at my baby shower. And you're supposed to be at mine. What if we have our baby showers on the same day? Then we can't go to each other's. Molly, I think maybe we could have, like, a joint baby shower. Really? Wait a minute. This could be the best time of our life. I mean, every moment of pregnancy, we could celebrate together. <gasps> OMG, it was like fate made us pregnant at the same time. And our babies can even be BFFs. I know, right? This is going to be the most amazing nine months of our lives. Except for all the throwing up. That part's not very fun. Yeah, yeah but we could eat snacks together and... Pick up baby clothes together and design the nursery together and have a baby shower together. It's going to be so amazing. Yeah, and I can't wait for our babies to be best friends. Me either. Ugh, when is this baby going to get out of me? I feel gigantic. I'm the size of a house. Wow. What? No, you're not, Molly. I think you look amazing. Look at me! I'm four times the size that I normally am. It's like, it's like this baby just keeps telling me to eat and eat and eat. Don't I know it. Luke, bring more snacks. 
Okay, I'm just a little tired. I mean, you guys have been having me run and get you snacks all day. Well, it's your day off. I don't see Brookie and I getting a day off from being pregnant. So, uh, why don't you bring more snacks already? Oh, they're so grumpy. And there's two of them. How did these girls get pregnant at the same time? It's the worst. Ugh, what is he talking about? I think this chocolate ice cream is not all that great. Bring some of the strawberry. Ugh, if this baby doesn't come out soon, I give up. I quit at being pregnant. I don't think it works that way, Molly. It works that way. I do not want to be pregnant anymore. I don't have any strawberry ice cream, but look at this. I got some delicious takeout from Brooke's Diner. Ugh, the baby doesn't want to eat that. Try again. Oh, I can't wait till the baby comes. It'll be cute. Yeah, and then you'll have diapers. It'll be better than having to bring you all snacks on my day off. <laughs> That's what he thinks. He's never had a baby before, but he's about to learn. Then the baby cries all night. The baby needs diapers. Baby needs bottles. Uh-oh. Well, I, for one, am excited. I cannot wait to meet my little sweetheart. Me either. Mostly, though, because I just don't want to be pregnant anymore. Okay, Molly, and, um, I'm just going to need you to sign this paperwork. What? My sister's my doctor? Of course, in this vision of the future, Daisy's a doctor because she's so smart. <laughs> Were you expecting me to be an ignoramus? I don't think so, Molly. Okay, so now what I'm going to need you to do is sign these forms and... Ah, my stomach! Oh, I don't think there's any time for her to sign those forms. I think you need to push, honey. Push! Yes, Molly, you can sign the forms later. Push! Okay. Ugh. Push harder, Molly. Whoops, pushed a little too hard. Oh, ew! Oh, ew. Molly, you made a giant stink cloud in here. You're gonna have your baby born into that sticky smell. Oh, that's so Molly. Sorry, um, I didn't mean to, but I had a bean burrito for lunch. I didn't know I was going to have a baby today. Okay, Molly, I need you to push. Come on, push. Huh, huh. Don't push that hard. Just, just a little push. Just, just a little push, please. Oh, my gosh, I'm an auntie. I'm a daddy. I'm a mom. I can't wait to see Brookie. Look at you. You're so adorable. Hi, little girl. I'm your mommy. You have to go meet your Auntie Brookie. She's going to love you. Brookie? Wee! Wee! <gasps> oh, my God. Brookie, you had your baby. You had your baby. It's, it's a girl? It's a boy? You were supposed to have a girl. Well, you could have had a boy. Now they can't be BFFs. What? But, but, but. Um, did any of you think that maybe they could get married one day? Oh, yeah. OMG, Brookie! <gasps> Our babies could fall in love. Oh, that's so adorable. Aww. I'm so glad you're my BFF, Molly. I'm so glad you're my BFF. Remember that time a million years ago when you ate all the pizza and I wondered if we'd be friends forever? Yeah, I remember. Well... Scratch that, because we're going to be BFFs forever and ever and ever. I know. And then our babies are going to love each other forever, too. It's the best life ever. Okay, class. I'm mostly happy with your report cards this quarter, but there are a few of you that I'll be seeing in summer school. You'll know who you are when I hand out these report cards. Now, I want you to take them home and have one of your parents sign them and then bring them back to me tomorrow so I know that they've seen them. No funny business. Show your report card to one of your grown-ups and return it to me. Does everybody understand? Yes, Mrs. Smith. I can't wait to get my report card, Brookie. I'm sure that I got all A's. 
Um, Daisy, I think you're the only person in Brookhaven that's excited about getting your report card. <laughs> I work really hard for my good queens. And besides, my parents usually give me a present if I do really good. Like, I get to have ice cream every day for a week or something cool like that. Whoa, your parents sound so cool. Here you go, Daisy. Here's your report card. <sighs> I, I don't even know what to say. I know, right? I am doing amazing. Uh, you really should look over your report card before you say that. <clears throat> Ugh, report card day. I hate report card day. I, I, yay, 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 yay. Oh, Daisy, you always get the best grades. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're the best. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Molly, you know, if you actually did your homework, you'd probably get a good grade. Blah, blah, and also blah. Hey, wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? I got good grades? Holy guacamole! I never saw this one coming! <laughs> I'm getting ice cream for a week from my mom and dad. Okay, class, like I said, make sure you have your parents sign them and return them to me tomorrow. Oh, man. I'm going to end up in summer school. How about you, Brookie? How'd you do? Mostly B's and one A. Great job. Molly, did I hear you say that you got really good grades? Yeah, look at this. Whoa, those are really good grades. Yeah, I know. My mom and dad are going to be so impressed. I can't stop smiling. My face is frozen this way. My first good report card like ever. Daisy, are you coming inside? Uh, no, I'll be in in a minute. Uh, the stomach's a little upset from that weird lunch that lunch lady served us. I need some fresh ale. Okay, well, meet you inside. <laughs> Wait till I tell my mom. Mom! 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 What is it, Molly? Oh my gosh. You look like you won the lottery. Better! Mom, we got our report cards today and... Oh no. Here we go. How many bad grades, Molly? Guess! Um, five? No! Six? Mom! I don't know, Molly, how many? Zero! Wait, what? Yeah, Mom, look at my report card. Oh, Ace! Molly, this is amazing! Oh, oh, oh! Mom, why are you fainting right now? Because you've never gotten a good report card ever in the history of ever. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to buy you ice cream every single day for a, ye a year. Oh, whoa, Mom. <laughs> you don't want me to do, like get, you know, like diabetes or something. No, no, no. But for a week, Molly. Any kind you want. For a whole week. Yay! Thanks, Mom. Where's Daisy? Uh, she said her tummy was kind of upset. <laughs> I can't believe I failed almost every single class. Uh -oh. What's wrong with me? I got some good grades on my test. I can't show my mom and dad this report card. They think I'm an ignoramus. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll hide my report card. I'll sneak in the back door when no one can see me. And I'll put it under my mattress. And no one needs to know about this. And then I'll work extra hard to get better grades. Oh, I hope your sister feels better. Yeah, she said she ate something weird at lunch. And she just wanted to get some fresh air. Oh, well, I can't wait to see her amazing report card. Well, since mine's so amazing, guess I don't need to study tonight. I'm going to watch TV for three hours. Well, Molly, you do want to keep your award-winning streak going, don't you? Of good grades, good grades, good grades. Uh, Mom, I think I deserve a night off. I think you do too, Molly. Just relax. I'll make your favorite tonight. Okay, just, just act normal. Act normal. Wipe this frown off your face, Daisy. Uh, by favorite, you mean favorite thing for dinner? That's right. How about pizza or mac and cheese or bean burritos? Mac and cheese sounds delicious, Mom. We haven't had that in a long time. Hi, everybody. What you watching? Oh, hi, Daisy. How was school? Is your tummy feeling better? Yeah, I just needed some fresh air. I'm fine now. Uh, honey... Where's your report card? You're usually so excited to give it to me. That's the thing, Mom. Somehow, 
There was a giant gust of wind when I was outside and it blew it away. It got lost. Wait, what? You lost your report card? The most important thing to you ever? Yeah. Uh, at first I was freaking out, but then I was like, it's okay. Mom and Dad know I get great grades anyway. Well, she does have a point. I guess I trust that you got great grades and I don't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah, that's why Mom don't even worry about it. <laughs> I always get great grades. Daisy, something seems kind of fishy about you. What? No, it doesn't, Molly. Go away. Fine. Mom, can we have that mac and cheese now? Sure, Molly. I'll start making it. You relax, my super smart daughter. How'd you get such great grades? You are totally no moose. Daisy, rude. What's gotten into you? You're just jealous because I'm smart now, too. But I'm not jealous, and you'll never be smarter than me, even if your report card said you are. Why, are you saying you got a B on your report card, huh? 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 No, of course not. I got all A's. Now get out of my face, please. Whoa, she is so grumpy. Mm, Mom, this ice cream's great. Only, I don't think I meant that you could have ice cream for breakfast. Well, you didn't specify, so... Oh, so tired. Need coffee. Whoa, Daisy, you're up really late today. What's going on with you? Like, you always get up way before me. I was up all night studying. I'm exhausted. Honey, that's not good. You shouldn't stay up all night studying. You need sleep. Yeah, Daisy. I bet we should just eat some ice cream. I don't deserve ice cream. What? What are you talking about? Of course you do, Daisy. You're a great student. But tonight I want you to go to bed on time. It's not good for you to be up all night studying. Yeah. Now do you want some ice cream or not? No. I just have a piece of fruit. And then I'm going to take a nap on the school bus. Oh, must get good grades. Must get good grades. Mm. Why don't you try what I do? Don't study and don't do any of your work. Then you'll get a lot of A's. Molly, that's so annoying. I don't know how you pulled that off. But, but, I don't think it's right. Um, maybe because I'm a genius and I don't need to study. Ugh, that just figures. Don't be too jealous, Daisy. Mm. This is delicious. Oh, girls, the school bus is here. Better get going. Bye, Mom. Your genius daughter will get more good grades, I promise. Okay, honey, have a great day. You too, Daisy. Oh, uh, yeah. How to I? Come on, Daisy. We are about to go to the school that certified me as a genius. <sighs> Could you be quiet, Molly? You're driving me crazy. Okay, jeez. La, 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 la. Oh, these girls were eating Cheetos in their beds again. Oh, now I'm going to have to take the bedding all off and vacuum the mattress. Ay, ay, ay. I've told them not to eat Cheetos in bed. What's this? Daisy's report card? Underneath her mattress? <gasps> she failed all of her classes? She lied to me. Oh, M G. That's it. Sounds like I need to take a trip to the school. Daisy Acker, please report to the principal's office. Daisy Acker, please report to the principal's office immediately. Uh-oh. Whoa, Daisy, you're getting called to the principal's office. I wonder why. You've never been called there before, ever. I don't know, but something tells me this isn't going to be good. Well, good luck. I've heard of people going to the principal's office, and they never return. <laughs> Thanks! That doesn't make me feel freaked out of anything. You're welcome. Mom? What are, what are you doing here? Let's see. Today I was cleaning, and since you were eating Cheetos in your bed, I had to tear apart your bed, and look what I found under your mattress. Daisy, did you hide your... Your report card from your parents? I'm disappointed in you. I, I will, um, I... That's what I thought, 
Daisy? How could you? And you're failing all of your classes? What? Ugh, you're grounded for an entire month. And you will be studying extra hard. Well, I can't really study any more than I already am, ma'am. I already feel like an ignoramus. And I didn't want you to think that I was. <sighs> oh, honey, you're not ignoramus. Maybe we just need to get you a tutor. I mean, I do see that you're working hard. I don't understand why all your grades are so bad. Wait a minute. There seems to be an error in our computer system. Daisy actually got all A's. Wait, what? I knew there had to be something wrong. I'm a great student. Um, so there's just been a mix-up here? Yes, but unfortunately your mix-up here is with your other daughter, Molly Acker? Yes, what about her? She's the one with the failing grades and is going to have to attend summer school. Apparently they mix them up because they're sisters. Oh my god, Molly! You're the one with the failing report card! And to think, she got to eat all of my celebration ice cream! Daisy, I would definitely not celebrate yet. What? Why, ma'am? Because you lied to me and you hid your report card. You still are grounded for a week. Oh, I never get grounded on the golden child! Well, not anymore, Daisy. That was very naughty. <laughs> uh, who wants to break the news to Molly that she didn't get all A's? <clears throat> um, yeah, not it. You're the principal, you tell her. Oh, poor girl. She's gonna have to do summer school. Well, that's what happens when you don't do any homework. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I cannot wait to tell Daisy this huge surprise. She's gonna be so excited! Daisy, oh Daisy! Whoa, it's dark in your room, Daisy. I'm gonna turn on a light. Molly, would you please get out of my room? I'm trying to game. In the dark? Yeah, it's super fun this way. I feel like I'm really immersed in the game. Why are you in my room, by the way? Because I have a really big surprise! I don't believe you, Molly. I think it's just a lie. No, seriously, I have a really big surprise for you. I'm not even lying, I promise. Really, Molly? You have a surprise for me? What is it? Did you make cookies? Daisy, stop playing your computer! I'm gonna tell you something cool! Oh, right, what is it? I talked to Mom, and she said, We can have a sleepover! Molly, we sleep over in the same house every single night. What's such a big surprise about that? No, silly! Brookie's coming over, and we're going to have a sleepover with her! OMG! That's amazing! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! <laughs> I figured you would be. Now follow me into the kitchen. Why, Molly? I don't want to watch you eat another snack. It's all you ever do. Okay, well, I know that might be a little boring, but... Molly, I'm not watching you eat a snack. I'm not going to eat a snack, okay? I'm going to make some cookies. It's a celebration. Oh, I should make something too then. Oh, what should I make? Maybe some muffins or something, because I want to have variety then when Bookie's heal. Oh, she's going to love that. Yeah, she's going to love your cookies a lot too, Molly. I hope so. They're chocolate chip. Ooh, those are my favorite. Me too. I kind of want to eat the cookie dough. Molly, don't eat the cookie dough. There's raw egg in that, you know. You'll get food poisoning. Yeah, I know. Mom always tells me don't eat the raw dough. It's gross. <laughs> Ooh, now I just got to bake them. Tell me, Molly, my food is in there. What? But, but my cookies are ready to go in. Well, maybe we can make room for your cookies too. Maybe. Okay, let's see if they'll fit. Oh, never mind. They're done. Ugh, you're taking over the entire stove. Yeah, but now they're done, so don't whine, okay? Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie! Molly, what are you doing over there? Uh, I'm watching these delicious cookies bake. Wait a minute, you're making cookies? Absolutely! You're my bestest friend. Of course I'm going to make you chocolate chip cookies. 
But I made you blueberry muffins. Wouldn't you like to have some of those? No, she wants chocolate chip cookies. No, she wants blueberry muffins. Cookies! Muffins, Molly! Cookies! Um, guys, I'm really hungry. I just got done working out at the gym. I'll have one of each, please. She's eating my muffin first. That means she likes me battle. No, it doesn't. It just means that my cookies aren't out of the oven yet. Ouch, ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, no. Did I burn them? <laughs> Molly, you burned your cookies. Only a couple on the top, Molly. It's not a big deal. Yeah. I don't mind a burnt cookie either. If you just dip, dip them in milk, it's still delicious. Mmm. Yum. Okay, Brookie, eat one of my non-burned cookies. Okay, Molly. Ooh, these look delicious. She's gonna like my muffins, battle. No, she's not! Who could that be? Everybody's here for the sleepover. Well, maybe it's a surprise guest. We aren't allowed to have a surprise guest, are we, Molly? I don't know. I only asked if Brookie could come over. Who is it? Hey, what's up? Can I come in? Uh, Sarah, what are you doing here? Oh, great. I'm so glad you opened the door. Finally, what could you be any more rude? Oh, Sarah, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, who farted? Sorry, it was me. <laughs> Those blueberry muffins kind of, well, made me gassy. <laughs> it's okay, Brookie. Ugh, yucky, stinky. Ugh, so gross. Total losers. Wait a minute. What are you doing in my house? And why are you eating all my cookies? Those are for my best friend. Oh, well, I guess I'm your best friend now because these cookies are mine. Someone said you were having a sleepover and, um, well, I'm here to crash it. Who told you there was a sleepover? Oh, I think that would be Brookie, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, guys. I just mentioned that I was really excited about coming to the sleepover. I saw Sarah at the library. I I'm really sorry. Oh, Brookie! Oh. Well, I guess it's going to be a party of four. Do you have anything to drink? I'm so thirsty. Uh, usually it's kind of rude to just get in someone's refrigerator. If you don't live there, that is. Oh, I just got in your refrigerator, Molly. Yeah, but you're my best friend, so okay. I don't even know what to say right now. Boy, Molly, talk about putting your foot in your mouth. <laughs> hey, don't drink all the milk. We need that for the cookies. Oh, wait. Never mind. You ate all the cookies. Okay, so what are we doing at this sleepover? Well, I thought first we could um go jump on the trampoline for a while and swing on the swings and stuff. That sounds fun, right? Yeah, I guess. Whee! Come on, guys. This is so much fun. Molly, I don't know. Maybe our guests won't have fun at our sleepover. What are you talking about? I don't know. It just... I mean, Sarah's here and she's kind of rude. I'm having a great time. Don't worry about me, guys. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Blueberries make my stomach kind of crazy. <laughs> I knew you'd like the chocolate chip cookies better. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. I think Brookie had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Molly, do you think Sarah will ruin our sleepover? I don't think so, but I hope not. Speaking of Sarah, I better go check on her. Why isn't she outside? What is she doing? Oh, look at this! Molly's diary! What? Get out of there! Get off my computer right now! Okay, I gotta unplug my computer. Hey, I was using that! That is not yours! Now please go outside with everyone else at the sleepover! Fine. What a party pooper you are. OMG, Sarah. You're making me crazy. Ah, finally. Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, don't worry about a thing, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Okay, I'm back. I hope you feel better now, Brookie. Totally. Why did she feel good? Oh, no reason, Daisy. Don't worry about anything. She didn't like your blueberry muffins. Molly, I didn't say that. Okay, it makes her stomach upset. Really? I'm so sorry. Oh, they were delicious, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Molly, don't be mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, guys, you want to go in and watch a movie? Sure, but where's the fourth person at? You know, Sarah? I don't know. Hopefully she's not getting herself into more trouble. I just realized there's a snowman in the pool. <laughs> Weird. 
Sarah, where are you? Sarah! Molly, where could she have gotten to? She's probably getting into trouble. I don't know. I don't see her anywhere. I'm going to go back into the backyard and see if I can find her out there. Ugh, I want a pizza. This party's so lame. Sarah! Get, get out of my mom's car! What are you doing? See you later. I'll be back later, loser. Sarah! O-M-G! Daisy! Molly, is everything okay? Oh my gosh. No! Sarah just took my mom's car to go get pizza! What? Does she even have a driver's license? I don't know. But, um, I think I better call my mom. What's going on, guys? Bailey colored unicorn. Molly, get out in front of the TV. We have a bigger problem than that. What is it, Molly? I mean, you standing in front of Bailey colored unicorn really is a problem for me. Sarah just took mom's car to get pizza. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to go call mom. I'll be right back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She's going to be so mad. She's going to be so mad. Hey, Daisy, what's going on? Mom, we didn't find Sarah to want to sleep over, but she came anyway, and then she stole your car. What? Okay, I'll call the police, and I'll be right home. Okay, are we all in trouble? No, Mom said that Sarah's in trouble. She's calling the police. Well, let's lock the door so she can't come back, because I don't want her getting us in trouble. Good idea, Brookie. Now, come on, guys. Let's go watch a movie. Ooh, this looks like awesome. Molly, we've seen the Brightly Colored Unicorn movie before. Yeah, but Brookie hasn't. Oh, Brookie, did you want to stay here? No, I kind of like to sprawl out on the floor. I'm cool. All right. Well, have you seen this movie? No, I haven't seen it before at all. It looks really good. Hey, guys, thanks for inviting me over to this sleepover. Even though my blueberry muffins made you... Yeah, they were still delicious, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just blueberry intolerant. Even though that Sarah came and she was, like, being crazy? Yeah, that wasn't you guys' fault. I'm still having a really great time. I want to come to your sleepover, like, every day. Well, that would mean you'd live here. Yeah, you could be our sister! O-M-G. That would be amazing! <laughs> Good morning, class. Everyone, please take out your math workbooks. What's this? Like the video? Equals a cookie? Molly, Daisy, did you write this about your YouTube channel on the board? I know you're famous, but seriously, can you pay attention to school when you're here? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, while I'm talking to you guys, I just want to tell you also that we have a new student coming today, and I expect you all to be very nice to her. When she says it like that, it means the new student is like really ugly and no one should make fun of her for it. Sarah, that wasn't a very nice thing to say. Would you like a detention for being rude? Uh, not really. Okay, here comes the new student, everybody. All right, everyone, please be very friendly to our new student, Rachel. Hi, everyone. I'm Rachel, and um, I just moved here, and I'm really excited to get to know everybody. Wait, what? She's, like, super pretty. She's, like, prettier than me. Ugh, that makes me super mad. Everything makes you super mad, Sarah. You're the biggest grump in Brokehaven. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just really good at being a baddie, and you're being really good at being a loser. What? I'm not a loser. <laughs> You're totally a loser. Well, if it means I'm actually nice and it's the opposite of you being rude, then I'll be a loser every day, all day. Rachel, you can sit by me if you want. I love your outfit and your hair and your makeup. Aww. Oh, thanks so much. What's your name? My name is Daisy, just like the flower. She's my sister. Uh, she's a little annoying, but she's a nice person. Molly! That's not the introduction that I was hoping for. Well, it is sort of true. <laughs> Rachel, you can sit by us at lunch if you want. Gee, thanks so much. You guys are super nice. Ooh, these apples are so good. Not as good as this pizza. Mm, so delicious. Molly, I thought you were going to try to eat something healthy for lunch. Pizza is healthy. I mean, it has cheese on it and buddy. An apple would have been healthier. You're probably right, but the pizza tastes so delicious. 
Hey guys, um, can I still sit next to you? Of course you can, Rachel. Um, but first you might want to get some of this delicious pizza. My sister even said it's so good. Or you can try the healthy option of the apple. Hmm, such choices. What am I going to pick? Uh, I actually picked this, guys. The chicken looks really good. Yeah, but again, not as good as the pizza. So, Rachel, what town did you come from? Um, I came from Louisville. Whoa, that's really far from here. You girls seem really nice. I'm glad I'm making friends in my new school. I was a little worried that maybe I wouldn't. Ooh. But why wouldn't you make friends? I mean, seriously, you're so beautiful. I bet you were like Miss America at your last school. Yeah, you seem like you'd be one of the popular girls. So I'm surprised that you're just so friendly. Oh, just because you're popular doesn't mean you're rude. In this school it does. Have you met Sarah? She was the rude girl in our class. Yeah, she seemed a little rude, I have to admit. Well, guys, I have to use the bathroom, and then I'm going to go study some. Um, thanks for having lunch with me. No problem. Hope to see you in our next class or around the school or something, Rachel. Nice meeting you, Rachel. See you in math class. What? The new girl is prettier than me? Is that what you just said? Well, I'm not making it up. She is really gorgeous. No one is prettier than me in this school. I think we should do some digging on this girl and see where she came from and who she is. Yeah, we can expose her for something to be embarrassing. We don't want her to be more popular than we are. Uh -oh. Exactly. Oh, um, hi. Hi, you must be the new girl, Rachel. Sarah was just telling me how amazing you are. So pretty, smart, and nice. Really? Oh, <laughs> thank you. You probably don't want to talk to me because you guys are like super popular. Actually, we do want to talk to you. Uh, we just want to make you one of us. What? Um, I don't know about that. I've already sort of made friends with Molly and Daisy. Did you know that they're famous YouTubers? Yeah, that's so annoying about them, isn't it? They think they're the coolest people in the school. I didn't get the impression that they thought they were the coolest at all. I thought they were really down to earth. Molly was super funny. Daisy was really sweet. Well, she's not. She's actually kind of annoying. She thinks she's so smart all the time. Well, she did seem pretty smart to me. Oh, well, I came from um, Blocks... I mean, um, Louisville. Did you just say Blocksburg? No, <laughs> I don't even know where Blocksburg is. Is that near here? <laughs> I said Louisville. Uh-huh, sure you did, Rachel. Well, see you later. Hmm. Now I know exactly where to look. She came from Bloxburg. She's a loser. I just know it. Let's Google her and see what we can find out. <gasps> Sarah, look at this. I just struck gold. Were you picking your nose? What? No. Ew. I was trying to show you this Snapchat of Rachel at her old school in Bloxburg. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some of the popular girls took this of her. She was a total loser. We can expose her, and then she won't seem so great and beautiful anymore, will she? <laughs> I knew there was a reason why I kept you in the baddies club with me, Tiffany. Yeah, we're just too much alike, Sarah. <laughs> there she is, Sarah. Let's go tell her what we know. Hey, Rachel! Hey, Rachel, don't you look so perfect and popular? Yeah, except for we know the truth about you. Wait, what? What are you guys talking about? I'm trying to do some studying. We know you're from Bloxburg. What? No, I'm not. I told you I'm from Louisville. <laughs> I was super popular there. Everyone loved me. Uh-huh, sure. Then how do you explain this Snapchat of you. Um, that's my, um, dorky sister. Yeah. We know it's you, Rachel. And we're not afraid to expose who you used to be. We know that you were the biggest dork ever when you first came to Brookhaven. And we're not afraid to tell everyone. Wow. 
Brookhaven is so cool. I'm going to change everything about how I look. I don't want to be the biggest dork here like I was in Blacksburg. No one will know about my past life in Blacksburg. Everyone will just think I'm a popular girl here. It's a new start. We'll totally expose you unless you do exactly what we say, Rachel. Really? Why would you do that? That's so mean. Yeah, duh. We're baddies. Get a clue. So this is what you're going to do. We are tired and Molly and Daisy seeming like they are so cool because they're famous YouTubers. Yeah, it's so annoying, especially since they're such losers. You are going to be friends with them and then you're going to help us expose them for the losers that they are. But they seem so nice. Why would you want to do that to them? Because we just said they annoy us. Ugh. If I really have to, I guess I'll do what you say. Uh-oh! Perfect. Now get going before we change our mind. Um, okay. I don't feel so good about this. <laughs> our plan is working perfectly. She'll figure out something that makes Molly and Daisy look like total losers, and then everyone will unsubscribe to their YouTube channels. Yeah. And we'll make Rachel look like she's the worst of them all. <laughs> Everyone will think she's so mean. Yeah, because she's too pretty to actually be popular. She would maybe, like, threaten our place as the most popular girls. She's too pretty and smart and nice. Exactly. We'll take them all down. All three of them. You and me, Tiffany. Baddies for life. Yeah, Sarah. Exactly. But who's the head of the baddies? I am, of course. What? I'm the head of the baddies. No. I'm the head of the baddies. And don't forget it. Molly, you do know that we have homework tonight, right? Yeah, but I want to watch the latest episode of Brook High and just chill. Huh. Wonder who that could be. Oh, Daisy, it's the new girl, Rachel. Hi, can I come in? Yeah, sure. Come on in, Rachel. Wait, how did you find out where we live? Oh, I just, um, I just asked some people at school. I just thought you guys were so cool, and you seemed like you were going to be really nice friends, so I don't know. I don't have any friends in Brookhaven yet, and I just thought, well, maybe we could hang out. Absolutely! Right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm just finishing up some of my homework right now, and then we could do something fun. So, what do you like to do for fun? You guys have um, your own room or whatever? Show it to me. Of course we have our own room. Well, actually, we have to share, but um, we don't, like, sleep on the couch or something. Oh, cool. Well, show me your room. All right, come with me. You guys have an elevator in your house? Oh, my God, that's super fancy. This is um, Daisy and I's room. We share it. And my baby sister, baby Kira, gets her own room. Isn't that ridiculous? She's a baby. <laughs> well, she probably gets her own room because... If she didn't, she'd keep you up all night crying and stuff. Yeah, that's what my mom said. But as soon as she's big enough, she's going to room with Daisy. What? No. Yeah, because I'm the oldest. Molly! I want the room because you always talk when I'm trying to do my homework. You guys fight so much. I can tell you guys are sisters. Yeah, my sister's annoying. My sister's an ignoramus. Guys, stop fighting. Seriously. So, uh, what kind of snacks do you have? Um, I don't know. I, I think we have some ice cream. Do you want an ice cream cone? Sure, I'll just hang out here. Oh, man, I forgot to ask Molly if you had anything to drink. I'm super thirsty. Don't worry, Rachel. I'll go get you something. No problem. Thank you. Finally, I'm alone. Now, let's see what kind of evidence I can dig up in their bedroom for Sarah and Tiffany. Ugh. The room is like squeaky clean. There must be some sort of evidence somewhere. Is there anything in these drawers? What's that? Oh, uh -oh. It's Molly's diary. I wonder if Daisy has a diary too. I know where I keep my diary. Under my pillow. Her too. <laughs> well, this should be exactly what Sarah and Tiffany need. 
Then maybe they can leave me alone. I don't want them to expose me that I was a total dork before I moved here. Isn't Rachel just so nice? She totally is. She asked me to get her a drink. Oh, <laughs> she must have forgot to ask me. She did. What was that? Sounded like a door slamming. Rachel, I'm coming with your ice cream. Rachel, here's your ice cream. Where is she? I don't know. Maybe that door slamming was her going home. Oh my gosh, why? Do you think she doesn't want to be our friend? No, probably her mom called her, and she just have to go home and do her homework. Oh, suit yourself, Rachel. Mm. I'm going to eat your ice cream then. Mm. It's delicious. So, what did you find out for us, Rachel? Yeah, what did you find out? Or do we have to expose you? No, I got some really good stuff because I went over to their house <laughs> and they so easily fell for my tricks. I stole their diaries and wait till you read all of this juicy information. What? You stole their diaries? <laughs> wow, you're actually a pretty great baddie. What? I don't want to be a baddie. I want to be a goodie. Well, you could never be a part of our club anyway because you're not pretty enough. What? She is kind of pretty. Shut up, Tiffany. She's not pretty. Oh, yeah. You're ugly, Rachel. You could never be a part of our club. So listen to this juicy information, guys. And then please don't expose me. Please. I actually want to be popular and liked and not bullied at this school. Well, then I suggest you hand over the diaries. Uh-oh. Now. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Molly says that she accidentally poo-pooed her pants on the school field trip. Oh, gross. I'm sure that when we expose all of these ridiculous and sad secrets, they're not even going to be popular on YouTube anymore. That's the plan. All right, Rachel, we're done with you. Get lost, loser. What? Y you're going to bully me now? Only if you keep standing in our face there, ugly. May I have your attention, please? Does that sound like Sarah over the loudspeaker? It sure does, Molly. I wonder what she's in the principal's office for. I have some very important information to read to you. <laughs> Everybody, make sure you're paying attention. Dear Diary, it's me, Molly. Today, when I was on a field trip, I had to go poo-poo really bad, and I didn't make it, and I had to wear the poo-poo pants from the school nurse's office that are from 1975. Haha, <laughs> it was super embarrassing. Next journal entry. Is she reading my diary to the entire school? Um, I think so, Molly. What? How did she get my diary? This one is from Daisy's diary. Dear diary, I failed one of my science tests. I didn't tell anybody because it was so humiliating. I just hid the test under my bed and never mentioned it to anyone. Except for when my sister Molly asked and I told her I got a hundred and then made her feel like an ignoramus because she didn't. Seriously, Daisy? You lied to me? I, I, hey, what I wrote in my diary is supposed to be private. I just can't believe you, Daisy. That was so rude. How would, wait a minute. How would she get our diaries? Exactly. Let's stop fighting and figure that out, Molly. Yeah, and then we can deal with the fact that you lied to me about your test after. Molly, okay, how would she get in there? The doors were locked. She didn't come over to our house. Who did come over to our house? Uh, let's see, there was that DoorDash guy, but he wouldn't have stolen our diary. Wait a minute. Rachel came over to our house. She seems so nice. She wouldn't do that, would she? Rachel. Um, uh, yeah, I just am going to the bathroom. <laughs> See you later. No. Rachel! Rachel! What? What is it? What do you want? Did you steal my diary? Did you steal Daisy's diary? Who, me? <laughs> um, why would I do that? I don't know. Because you're actually a baddie and not someone I want to be friends with? I thought you were really cool. I am really cool. It's just, 
Well, uh... So you did steal my diary! We can't be friends. You're not a nice person. It was her who stole our diaries, Daisy. What? Why? I don't know. I think she's a baddie. So now everyone should unsubscribe to their YouTube channels because they're total losers. They shouldn't be popular at all. I just can't believe it. Rachel's not the person I thought she was. Just goes to show when you think you know somebody, you have no idea. Molly, I think we judged her all along. She's actually a baddie. Totally, totally a baddie. Great job, loser. <laughs> you did exactly what we told you to do. Now, we need you to go expose something else about Molly and Daisy. We want to make sure they have negative subscribers. Yeah, why are you just sitting there? Because this doesn't feel right. I don't want to be a baddie. I want to be a good person. And, and I feel bad for taking their diaries. That was wrong of me. And now you're getting a conscience like whatever i'm gonna tell everybody that you were a total dork <laughs> loser that came from blocksburg well it's better than being a fake really i don't think so <laughs> everyone will tease you and bully you here okay well it seems like you guys are kind of bullying me and bossing me around anyway so what's the difference i'd rather just not be friends with anyone it just goes bad Wow, she's going to cry about it now. Yeah, she definitely can't fit into the baddies club. Worst day ever. Usually when I'm having a terrible day at school, this is where I go to hide. <laughs> oh, is that a new student? Hi, are you okay? You don't want to talk to me. Um, why wouldn't I want to talk to you? Are you new here? My name's Molly. No, uh, well, yes, I'm sort of new here, but... You've met me before. What? No. I would have remembered you if I met you. Unless, of course, I was concentrating on eating pizza or playing Roblox. Then I may not have really noticed you. No, I... I... You hate me! What? I hate you? What are you talking about? I don't hate anybody. Yeah, I'm sure you won't like me. It's just... Because I did something really horrible and mean. Trying to fit in. Wait a minute. Rachel? Is that you? Yeah, this is my true form. By the way, I love SpongeBob. Why were you dressed like a baddie this whole time? Because I came from Bloxburg and I was a total dork there and I got bullied and everyone teased me for how I looked and, and what I said and the fact that I liked playing Roblox so much and... Wait, what? Yeah, and Sarah and... And Tiffany told me that if I didn't expose you guys and make you lose all your YouTube subscribers, that they would tell everybody I was a huge loser in my old town. What? They were bullying you two and manipulating you? Yeah, totally. I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know. You stole my diary. I'm sorry, Molly. It was a really bad thing to do. Yeah, it was. I forgive you, but I'm going to need you to prove to me that I can trust you if you want to be my friend. Don't worry, Molly. I'll show you that I can be a good person. I hope so, because so far all you've shown me is that you're not very nice. I let you into my house, and you stole something that was private of mine. I know. Man, I'm failing at not being a bad person at this new town. Yeah, but you can always turn it around, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to. Really? Yeah. And I hope someday you and I can be really close friends. Me too, Molly. Thanks for the second chance. Daisy! <laughs> I love this episode! Let's watch something else, Molly. We've watched like 70 episodes of this. Do not touch the remote. I'm watch this episode again. Okay, girls, try to get along. You, you, you're fighting over the TV, and if you fight over the TV, well then, you're not allowed to watch it, I guess. Yeah, okay, Dad, whatever you say. Molly, do you smell something? Yeah, I smell something delicious. I'm starving right now. 
Buddy, all you have done is eaten all day. I know, and I can still eat some more. Guys, I'm home. What's that smell? What? What? What is all that dirty dishes all over the table? Ugh, it smells horrible like a rotten egg in here. Ew. Molly, did you eat a bean burrito? No, I didn't eat a bean burrito. Well, I think it's the smell of all those dirty dishes. I want you girls to pick up. You were supposed to do the dishes. Did you do the dishes or vacuum or do anything? No, we basically just sat here all day. Well, now the house smells terrible. Well, we'll get to it as soon as we finish this episode. Uh-oh. Oh. Dan, did you just let them sit here all afternoon while I was at work? Um, I'm sorry, honey, but I'm looking at our bank account right now to see why we don't have any more money. Maybe because you spent it all on Robux. I know, but I have to get good at Roblox. Everybody always beats me at it, and I'm tired of playing Roblox on Saturday nights as a family and always losing, and you guys always winning. And I, I, I need special powers, so I have more. I have to buy more Ro Roblox. Robux, not Roblox. Ugh, you're never gonna be good at it anyway, and 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 you're spending up all our money. Hey, hey, why the doubt here? I think I could be good at the game. Okay, here we go. Mom and Dad are gonna fight. Let's just go up and play uh, Roblox in our room. Good idea, Molly. Let's go. Where do you two think you're going? You have a lot to clean up. Huh? What? Sorry, Mom. The elevator's already up the th um, second floor. I can't hear you. Oh. Mom and Dad can be so annoying sometimes. I mean, I love them and everything, but like, literally, why do they tell us to do chores all the time? I know, right, Molly? Chores, s'mores. Oh, did you just say s'mores? No, I said s'mores. Yeah, you said s'more! Oh, that's making me hungry again. <laughs> Daisy, you better not snore in your sleep tonight. Really? You better not fart in your sleep tonight. Hey, I yeah. no promises. Uh-huh, well, I might snore. There you are, girls. Are you ready for bed? Yep, we're all in our PJs and our teeth are brushed. Girls, tomorrow you're going to have a very specific morning routine. I've written it all out and I expect you to follow it <gasps> line by line. What? Morning routine? <laughs> Mom, you must be sadly mistaken. Tomorrow's the weekend. Uh-huh. And tomorrow, you're going to follow my morning routine. Ow. Ugh. That sounds like a lot of work. Sure does. Now, first things first. Get a good night's sleep. You're going to have a very, very busy day. Good night, girls. Good night, Mom. Will you fix on this morning routine? Probably a bunch of chores and other things we don't want to do. Bah and humbug. Yeah, Molly. I think we can just watch TV and eat snacks again all day. Um, after I study, of course. Oh, Daisy, you're such a goody two-shoes. I know, but not really because I haven't been doing my chores. See, I'm a rebel. Yeah, you're a real baddie. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy, why did you set the alarm for 6 o'clock in the morning on the weekend? I didn't. I don't know why it's going off. Wait a minute. Mom must have said. Turn it off. I'm going back to sleep. Oh, ridiculous. 6 o'clock in the morning? I don't even get up that early for school. Wake up! Huh? What? What? What's going on? Is there a fire in the house? What? No. I set your alarm for six o'clock, and I'm I'm expecting you to get up. But Mom, ugh, it's way too early on the weekend to get out of bed. Are you crazy? Molly, get up, or you're going to be grounded from talking to Brookie for a month. What? Like what the holy, Mom? That's harsh. Things are about to change around here. What? Why? We like things the way they are. Girls, I literally found an old hot dog bun under the couch. It was moldy. Ew, why'd you leave that there? I didn't. You two did. You are both turning into total slobs. Lazy, lazy, and lazy. Well, 
Oh, I might be kind of lazy, but Daisy, she's still doing her homework, so she's only a little bit lazy. Yeah, I'm only a little bit lazy. You're both really lazy, and you're both going to snap out of it. Molly, open your eyes. I would, but they just don't seem to want to open. Molly, open them. Cheapers, Mom, they're open. You're turning into a, a, a strict mom. That's right. From here on out, you can refer to me as strict mom, ma'am. Strict mom, ma'am. Oh. Well, are you ready to do your chores? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Here's the list. First, I need you to go in and brush your teeth for approximately two minutes. Wow. Then you will go down and eat a healthy breakfast. Then you will vacuum. And the list goes on and on. I have to work. So I expect this list to be completed by the time I arrive home. Uh, okay, Mom. I mean, ma'am. Strict Mom, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. We'll do the chores we promise. Good. I'd hate to have to ground you both for a month. A month? Wow, that's really strict and harsh. Do your chores, do everything on the list, and you'll have nothing to worry about. Daisy, can you believe this? What's gotten into Mom? I don't know, but I think the rotten hot dog bun under the couch really did us in. Ugh, you think it's still there? I'm kinda hungry. Yeah. Ew, Molly! <laughs> I can't believe mom wants us to eat something healthy for breakfast. I always have some sort of delicious sugary cereal for breakfast. Well, I'm having a delicious healthy smoothie. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see what's in the refrigerator. What? The refrigerator won't open. Yeah, mom locked it so you couldn't get anything naughty out of there. I guess your choice is a banana or apple. Oh, this is so annoying. Mom needs to stop being strict and mean. I guess this video is not horrible. But I miss my cereal. Molly, quit whining. We have a long list to do. Or we're going to be grounded from our best friends. Uh-oh. Okay, what's next on the list? Vacuuming and dusting. I'll dust you vacuum. Why do I have to vacuum? Because, Molly, someone has to dust and it's going to be me. Since you're always allergic, you sneeze so much when you smell any kind of dust. <laughs> yeah, she has a point. All right, fine. I'll do the vacuuming. <sighs> this stinks! I hate having to do the chores on the weekends. What's that racket so early in the morning? Molly, what are you doing? Why are you doing chores? What's gotten into you? Did an alien abduct my daughter? No. Mom has this giant chore list we have to do. Sorry, Dad, but I have to turn on the light. But I was trying to sleep in. It's still super early. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. I know, Dad. Tell me about it. Mom has us doing all these chores. Next, I have to scrub the toilets. Yeah. What? That sounds ridiculous. She's just being a little too strict, I think. Put that vacuum away. You can go watch cartoons. Seriously? Yeah, Molly. It's the weekend, and you go to school all week. And, uh, you know, everybody needs some downtime. Thanks, Dad! You're the best! You're the most funnest dad ever. Wow! Unlike Mom, who's strict and mean. Tell your sister she can watch cartoons, too. Daisy, you don't have to dust anymore. Wait, what? Why? Because Dad said we don't have to. But Mom said we did. Uh-oh! Well, Mom's not here right now. Dad is. So he's the boss. And we get to watch cartoons. Whoa, Molly, that's amazing. So glad we didn't have to do all that cleaning. Where are the cartoons? Ugh, oh, there's no cartoons on right now. Let's watch Rags to Riches. Sounds good, Molly. Ah, that's much better. A few hours later. Ugh, oh, I'm so full from all that DoorDash. I know, right, Molly? Oh, that was delicious, though. What? is going on here look at all this fast food all over and it smells again and 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 there's just just there's, there's stuff everywhere it's dusty and there was no vacuuming done girls what about the morning routine i gave you 
Um, well, uh, we didn't do it. Because, uh, Molly, you're not even out of your pajamas yet. Uh-huh. Because, uh, in my mind, it's still morning. What? No, it's not. Why didn't you do the list I gave you? You girls are so lazy. Dad said we didn't have to. He did? I don't believe you. No, you can go ask him yourself. <laughs> if he's even out of bed yet. He was just chilling. Oh, I guess I better get out of bed and get some lunch. Oh, well, well, well. Look who decided to wake up today. Oh, what? Uh, it's my weekend. I just wanted to sleep in a little. I didn't sleep very good last night. Maybe Kira kept me awake half the night. Well, now she's at my mom's house for the night, so why didn't you get out of bed? The girls didn't even do their morning routine I left for them. Well, it just seemed kind of crazy, all that stuff you put on there. Scrub the toilets and vacuum at 7 o'clock in the morning? Those girls need to learn responsibility. They are being so immature. Of course they are. They're not grown-ups yet. If you don't start teaching them responsibility, they are going to be terrible, spoiled brats. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are so strict. What what happened to you? You used to be so fun. <gasps> we keep pushing the girls the way we are. They're not going to like us anymore. They're going to run away. Uh -oh. Your future sounds terrible for these girls. Well, your future sounds like we won't even have daughters because they'll be, well, sick of us. I can just see their future now. <sighs> it's not good either. Molly, what are you doing? Were you supposed to be at work like an hour ago? Yeah, but work means I have to get off the couch, which I don't want to do. Molly, you're not even laying on the couch. Yeah, I sort of fell off the couch like an hour ago, and I didn't even feel like getting back on the couch. Wow, Molly, that's a new level of lazy, even for you. Did you even go to bed last night? This is the clothes you wore yesterday. Yeah. Nah, I wanted to be the closest to the pizza. It's right over there. I can smell it from here. Molly, that pizza's from last week. Yeah, and it's still good. Except my stomach feels a little weird after eating it. <laughs> Just kidding, all better. Ew, Molly. <laughs> Molly, we need to make money. We're not going to be able to afford the rent on this place. <laughs> They charge us rent here? That's lame. This place is terrible. Yeah, and it's all we get afford because two of us are too lazy to do anything. Well, I hope you can figure that out because uh, all I want to do is sit here and eat lots of food. Well, you just put a plate on the back of the couch. I know. <laughs> now I'm putting one behind my head. Let's see if I can eat it like this. Oh, Molly. You should really go to your job. Nah, probably gonna be fired now. I'm an hour late. Ow! Well, good thing I thought of something to make money. La 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 la. Give me all your money in this bank. It's a stick up. Ah! What? Oh, I've never been robbed before. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was a bad job. I knew it. I knew it. Quit panicking and give me all the money. I need to pay my rent and buy my sister some more pizza that doesn't have mold on the top of it. What? Um, well, we don't we don't have access to the safe and... What? I went through all this trouble and you can't even give me any money? Um, no, I'm sorry. What are you doing? Hey, don't push that button. What are you doing? Did you just push the alarm? Um, well, um, bye. I can't believe I just got robbed. Well, almost. The police are going to be here and then she's going to get arrested. Hold it right there, thief! What? This is my first time robbing a bank and I'm already getting arrested? That's right. <laughs> you thought you'd be good at robbing banks, but the police are always smarter than the criminal. Actually, I'm one of the smartest brains in Brookhaven. I'm just really lazy about it. Seriously, TZ? You, you, you couldn't even rob a bank? Well, no, Molly. I was kind of terrible at it. I haven't practiced or anything. Uh-oh! Well, now who's going to pay the rent at our house? Or buy us new pizza? You'll have to go get a job, Molly. Me? A job? Nah, I don't think so. I'm too lazy for that. Well, I don't know what to tell you, Molly. I get, uh, well, three hot meals in here. And I get a nice, warm, cozy bed. I guess this is the perfect place to be lazy. 
What? That's not fair! What am I gonna do? Someone please help! I don't have my home and I, I don't even have any pizza to eat! Oh, nobody knows the trouble I've seen! Oh. And that's exactly what happens when you're just fun all the time and you're never strict! Oh, really? Well, I can see exactly what would happen if we were super strict parents all the time. Huh, <sighs> it was so hot outside. I need something to drink. I wonder if we have any of that apple juice left. Too hot. Too hot! Oh, there you are. You missed some of the dust on the dining room table. Sorry, Mom. Uh, I'll get it. I just went out and mowed the lawn. I need some apple juice. Apple juice? Uh -oh. No, 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 no. That's for babies. You can have some water. Better for your body. But Mom, I'm so hot. I just want some apple juice, please. It took me like two hours to mow the yard. <gasps> Let's go see if you actually mowed it correctly. Uh, there's a wrong way to mow it. Of course there is. Let me go get my tape measure. Your tape measure? Some of this grass is way too long. Well, I just ran the lawnmower over it. I, I didn't know that I could choose, like, how long the grass is. Yes, you can. Ugh. If you don't start getting things right, Molly, you're going to fail, and then you're never, ever going to amount to anything in life except for becoming a loser. <gasps> wow, Mom. Harsh. Well, it's true. I'm just trying to prepare you for the real world. Now go in and dust the dining room table and then get the lawnmower out and get mowing again. But mom, it's getting dark. I won't even see where I'm going. You need to get this done, Molly. Oh, fine. And the right way this time. What? Did you put a red sock in with the white load? <gasps> um, whoopsie, Mom. It was just a mistake. Ow. Now we're going to have to pay for all of those clothes because you turned them pink. Well, I didn't mean to put the red sock in there. I promise. Well, I guess you're spending your allowance money from your piggy bank on this. Uh oh But, Mom, I've been saving up for my supplies for the science fair. Well, so sad for you, then, that you won't have what you need because you have to buy everybody new underwear because they're pink. Um, oopsie, sorry. Ugh, oh, you really should pay more close attention, Daisy. Psst, Daisy. Daisy. Molly, what is it? I'm trying to fold laundry. Daisy, listen to me. We gotta run away from here. Our mom has gone psycho. She's the weird, strict mom. Ah! I think you might be right, Molly. I can't handle this anymore. It's, it's like she's... Just mean all the time. Exactly. Come on. Yeah, I think the coast is clear. Let's go. I'm never coming back here. Not ever. Be evil, Marley. Be evil. Come on, Daisy. I'm trying, Marley, but I'm so hungry because all I've eaten is like, um, well, I had a salad. Because mom didn't want me to eat anything else. She said that the other stuff was not as healthy. Now I'm starving, so I'm not running very fast. Well, come on. We don't want her to catch us. Let's go. <coughs> Molly, Daisy, where are you? Your chore list is not even remotely done yet. Oh, where are these girls? I can't even believe them. They're just hiding when they need to do their chores. Oh, they're so lazy. Yeah, and your way would work so well. The girls would run away. They wouldn't even want us to be their parents anymore. <gasps> wow, I didn't look at it like that. I mean, I want them to be responsible. Well, I'm not sure my way is good to raise them either. I mean, if I just let them have fun all the time and they don't have any responsibilities, what's going to happen to them when they get older? Yeah, and if I'm too strict and mean, then how will they turn out when they get older? It seems like no matter what we do, we're going to mess up our kids. I know. It sort of does. I know what we'll do. We'll compromise. We'll have some strictness and some fun. That way they'll grow up totally, totally normal. 
Yeah, except for there are kids, so they won't really be that normal. <laughs> yeah, true. Come on, let's go find them and tell them what we decided. Mom, we'll do our chores, we promise. We just need to sit down for a minute. We're thirsty and hungry and you locked the refrigerator. Yeah, Mom, can we please get a snack? Of course you can, girls. Your dad and I have been talking and we've decided that, well, we need to compromise. <gasps> yeah, so a little bit of fun and a little bit of responsibility. Oh, I was hoping you would say just a lot of fun and zero responsibility. No, trust me. You don't want to have no responsibility. It makes you grow up to be total, well, losers. Oh, um, yeah, I'm not going to be a loser, not ever. That's because you need to have some responsibility. So your mom and I have agreed that you will each do one chore a day. One? That's so many! Ah! Actually, Molly, it's just one. So you can choose the chore that you want to do. And once it's done, you can do fun things for the whole rest of the day. Wow. And you still have to do your homework and stuff too. That sounds pretty fail. I can live with that. I can't. I just want to be lazy. <laughs> I don't want to do any chores. Molly, I didn't say there was an option. If you don't do your chores, you can't hang out with your friends, Ow. Snapchat, or do anything else fun. What? Dad, when did you become so strict? Um, trust me, uh, things could be a lot worse. Uh, you could have to follow all your mom's rules. Yeah, I guess you're right. All right, one chore, right? That's right, girls. And then you can do whatever you want as long as your homework is done. Goodbye, Molly. Just agree to it. Uh, okay, well, it sure beats having mom, who's completely strict about everything in control of us. That's right. Um, both of us make the decisions here, so we've decided one chore and then all the fun you want to have. Well, I guess it's not so awful, but can we just chill out right now, please? Uh, I guess, but then you need to do your one chore in an hour. Sure, Mom, sure we will. We definitely will. Yeah, as soon as I watch about 500 episodes of Netflix. Girls, I told you, you have to follow what your mom says. I will, I will. What do I have to do first, vacuum? Sounds good to me, Molly. I'm gonna vacuum as fast as I can so I can go back to watching TV. <laughs> oh, Molly, just do a good job. Yeah, and then I can have a chocolate bar, right? Uh, we didn't say that. Well, I think we should put that into the contract. I want a chocolate bar for all my hard work. Okay, Molly, you can have a chocolate bar. <laughs> I get to run the right I cook Well, too bad. We're eating cookies and we're watching the gymnastics competition. Yeah, baby Kira, we've been waiting all week to watch this. I can't wait to see my favorite gymnast. She's up next. Special news report. Sorry, we have to interrupt your gymnastic competition. What? Oh, they always do this every time. There's nothing on but this news channel. What are they talking about? Well, a woman went missing for years, but our big news today, Stephanie, is that it's Wear Your Favorite Color Day. And guess what? If you wear your favorite color, you get a free ice cream. Wow. Say what? Oh my God, this is amazing. It's a fashionista's dream. Wear my favorite color, get an ice cream. How do they know if you're being honest about what your favorite color is, though? I mean, what if your favorite color is blue, like me, but you wear pink? They're just trusting you, Molly. <gasps> oh, wow, that's pretty nice of them. Well, I'm going to wear my favorite color. Oh, wait, I already am. No, Molly, you have to wear your favorite color all the way from top to bottom. I mean, I have to paint my skin blue? <laughs> okay, that's a little weird. I'll show you what, how to do it, Molly, because I'm a fashionista and I know this kind of stuff. Well, perfect. Pink is obviously my favorite color. I even have a pink lollipop. Holy guacamole, Daisy. Your hair looks so different. Well, it's wear your favorite color day, so I decided to take down my pigtails and dye my hair pink. Whoa. <laughs> You're definitely going to get the free ice cream. All right, well, I guess it's my turn. And what's your favorite color, baby Kiwa? Rainbow. Oh, uh, baby Kira, you don't understand the assignment. 
It's supposed to be your favorite color. Ah, no, Dan, I told you. Rainbow! <laughs> I already know what it is. No, you're just supposed to pick one color. Just let her do what she wants. She's a baby. I'm sure they'll give her a free ice cream anyway. <laughs> I got it, you know. <laughs> okay, well, um, let's get dressed. We can get our ice cream. No, we're getting dressed in our favorite colors because we love being our favorite color. No, I'm just doing it so I can get free ice cream. Why are you so tall? Take off those heels. I don't think so. I think these heels look adorable on me. Yeah, but they make you look a giant. Uh, correction, they make me fabulous. <coughs> Is everybody ready to go? Molly, what are you wearing? My imposter costume from the past Halloween. It's the bluest thing I own. I'm blue. I'm blue. Molly. I am not being seen out in public with you wearing that. What? I think I look great. Aww. Aww, baby Kira, look at how cute she looks in that little rainbow dino sweatshirt. She looks adorable. That is a cute hoodie. But Molly, we are not going like that. Too bad I'm going like that. We are going for ice cream. Let's go. <laughs> Molly, you can't even walk in that costume. You just sort of waddle. Well, <laughs> too bad. Actually, I'll be waddling after I eat all that ice cream anyway, so I don't really care. Ay, ay, ay. Can't believe this girl is my sister. Watch this. This is so cool about Roblox. I'm totally going to teleport. <gasps> do, 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 do. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Dizzy, why did you bring your own spoon? <laughs> they have spoons at Coastal Combs. What? What are you talking about? On the side of your bag? There's a spoon there. What? Wait, that's not a spoon. It's the handle to my bag. Um, okay. Anybody who's watching this video right now, slam the like button if you think Daisy's purse looks like it has a spoon on it. Come on. That looks like a spoon. It's not a spoon. Uh, this is a very fashionable bag. It looks like a spoon. I did not wear a spoon on my purse. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Molly, look, there's a fitness center over there. We could work out after we get our ice cream. The only thing I'm worried about is fitting this whole ice cream cone in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, very funny. Welcome to Coastal Cones. <sighs> what can I get for you? Yuck, we're very good, very good. Come, look. And we get free ice cream cone. Oh, look, I haven't heard that all day. What are, you supposed what are you supposed to be, a blockhead? Um, no. It's my costume from last Halloween. And it's from that game Among Us, and my favorite color is blue. Could I have a strawberry ice cream with two scoops, please, for free? Whatever. Here you go. Yeah. Being wearing your favorite color, Daisy, she sure is grumpy. Hey, what's your favorite color? I don't have a favorite color. Say what? You don't have a favorite color? Who on earth doesn't have a favorite color? Apparently she doesn't, the ice cream worker. You might not want to eat that lollipop while you're also eating that ice cream. You're gonna rot your teeth. <gasps> um, yeah, okay, I'll have a chocolate ice cream cone, please. Excuse me, I did order strawberry, I ordered chocolate. Too bad, that's what you get. Um, yeah, okay. I am a, a rainbow ice cream. You get this watermelon. She obviously is not very happy about it being your favorite color, Jay. I hate it. I've had to work twice as hard at this ice cream shop today because the owner said I had to give out free ice cream. Mwah. I think that would make you really happy that you got to be so nice to people. Well, it doesn't. Come on, sisters. Let's go over to the beach and relax while we have ah! ice cream. Hey, you don't have to say thank you to me or anything. It's not like I've been working all day. What'd she say? Man, she was grumpy. Snapchat, Snapchat. Set me free. Take these colors away from me. Daisy, what is going on with your hair? And your clothes. You look like Corella DeVille. What? What are you talking about? Ah! Whoa! What are you guys wearing? Baby Kill, why are you dressed out in black? And Molly, what is what is up with you? 
What? What are you talking about? I'm wearing my costume. It's a totally different one that's just black and white. Like if I'm alien or some creepiness right there. O-M-G. We've been cursed. What are you talking about? It's in the ice cream, I bet. Stop eating it. But why? Why would we be cursed? I can get the ice cream person who gave us the ice cream mask. And she made it turn black and white. I should make it turn black and white. Wait, what? Why would she do that? Um, because she's really angry about having to serve this much ice cream today. Did you not notice? Guys, I think the town is looking a little black and white too. O-M-G! Let's go talk to her. Maybe she'll change your mind. Or oh, maybe she'll tell us what the antidote is for the ice cream cone. Ha 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 ha! This is perfect! No more serving ice cream to all you brats! What? That's not very nice! You're more like the ice queen than the ice queen, Sofa! That's right! I am the ice queen! Ha 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 ha! I make everyone's heart turn to ice and everything black and white! <gasps> well, um, I was wondering, uh, could you kind of turn us back because I like pink! It's my favorite color! I don't think so! I just asked Snapchat to take all the colors away and everybody's losing their color one at a time until the entire town has been washed of color! <laughs> so you did this with Snapchat? Jeepers, I thought it was something you put in the ice cream! Nope! Snapchat granted my wish. Holy guacamole! Well then, if that's true, I'm gonna pull out my Snapchat. Hey everybody, it's Daisy, and don't even bother. I'm the Ice Queen, and I'm in charge of Snapchat. Oh really, are you? Then what's this rainbow color? <laughs> oh Daisy, you're starting to sound like the evil one. Wait a minute! That put a rainbow face on me, too! How could this be? Well, I just happen to be amazing at Snapchat. And obviously your spell with Snapchat isn't working any longer. It is, because everything is black and white. Listen, if you hate your job at the ice cream shop, maybe you should try something else. I mean, evil ice cream's working for you pretty good. Wait, are you saying that I should try getting a different job? Yeah. You don't like the one you got, obviously, if you're turning the whole town black and white. Sheepers, creepers. Could we change for you is necessary, I think. I do your job. I love ice cream, and I bet you get free cones, don't you? I like ice cream. If you work at ice cream shop, I will be there when you eat the ice cream with you, Molly. Ah! I don't have to serve ice cream to brats anymore? Huh. Why didn't I think of this before? <laughs> I'm off to be an evil villain! <laughs> now hear me, world! I am the villain Ice Queen! Is she seriously standing on top of the picnic table? <laughs> uh, Molly, just let her have a moment. Obviously, she's totally crazy. <laughs> I will make the whole world black and white! <laughs> Whoa! Losing my balance! Whoa! She's not very really good at being a villain either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what her job should be. Whoa, Molly Jack, a big ice cream cone bar with the freaking. I'm thinking that if we start serving everybody ice cream again, the world will go back to color. Ooh, that would be wonderful. Well, let's start with us. This ice cream looks delicious. I want some blueberry flavor. Mmm. I'll pile on some watermelon. What else makes me happy? Chocolate, strawberry, and mint chocolate chip. Woo, this ice cream looks so good. Daisy, it worked. Yay! We're back to our normal selves. And our town is back to color too. Um, the evil villain is still laying out there. And she's still black and white. It's because she's not happy. I think if we start giving everybody ice cream, everything will be back to normal. Agreed, Molly. 
Hey guys, welcome to my Snapchat. Today I'm looking at coastal cones. And if you're still black and white, don't worry. I can change it back to color and you get a free cone while you're doing it. Head on down, guys. You think that will work, Jay-Z? Oh, well, here's our first customer. Hey, guys. Luke, <gasps> is that you? Yeah, I got the black and white curse and... Uh, I need to have some ice cream to see if I can get rid of it. What's your favorite? Mint chocolate chip. You got it. Mint and chocolate. Eat this and you should be back to color in no time. Wow, this ice cream is delicious. What happened to us anyway? Well, basically there was an evil ice cream that used a Snapchat curse to turn the entire town black and white, including us. Um, wear your favorite color day. I know, I was so excited about wear your favorite color day. I can't believe she did that. Yeah, she was really unhappy with her job. Whoa, it worked! Can you guess what my favorite color is? Um, green. You guessed it, Molly. You know me so well. Ah, uh, yeah, we've been friends since preschool. Of course I do. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, last year's Halloween costume because my favorite color is blue, duh. Oh, <laughs> I should have known you would have done that. So there you have it, guys. Make sure you're using your Snapchat for good and not evil. Don't try to take people's colors away or their happiness away. Don't bully or be mean on Snapchat. Just be yourself and then other people will be themselves too. And come on down to Costa Cones if you want a free ice cream cone. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Which one? Molly, did you even close the door, Jeepers? Hey, Brookie was the last one in. Yeah, but you let her into our house. You should have closed the door behind you. Hey, guys, don't fight. I mean, I know you're sisters and stuff, but you don't have to fight all the time. Hey, cute pajamas, Brookie, so what kind of snacks do you want? Could you make some popcorn? I haven't had popcorn in a while, and it sounds so good. Sure, no problem. I'll have some chocolate, ice cream, chocolate bar, chocolate cake. Molly, you live here. Get your bowl. That's delicious. I'm going to this loser sleepover party, but I'm just going there so that I can show everybody on my Snapchat just how big a loser they really are. I wonder who could be at the door. Molly, don't eat all the popcorn while I'm answering the door. Sheepers. No promises. <laughs> Yo. Going for the sleepover. What? But how did you know we were having a sleepover? Um, sorry, but um, she saw the text you sent me, Daisy, in math class, and well, I just felt bad that no one ever invites her to any sleepovers. Uh, yeah, there's a, a reason for that. I don't know what you're talking about. I am the coolest one at the sleepover. Now hand over the popcorn. Okay, Sarah, you can stay at our sleepover, but no bullying anybody. Do you understand? Yeah, Sarah, this is our house. And if you want to stay here for the sleepover, you need to be nice to everybody. I don't know if she can do it, guys. Slam the like button if you think she's going to be a bully. Um, I can totally be, well, kind of nice. Well, kind of nice is better than normal. <laughs> oh, no, Bookie, did the popcorn give you, um... The hiccups? Yeah, popcorn always gives me the hiccups for some reason. Do you have anything to drink? Let's play truth or dare. Um, something tells me this is a really bad idea to play truth or dare with this school bully. Well, um, I don't see why we shouldn't. I mean, maybe we could find out some things about Sarah we never knew. And then maybe if we know her secrets and she knows us, she won't bully us as much. I think it's a great idea. Hey everybody, I'm making this Snapchat because I'm having an amazing sleepover so far with my BFF and my sister and, um, well, Sarah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a great sleepover, at least I hope. Enough on your Snapchat already. Let's play Truth or Dare. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, who's going first? I'll go first. Daisy, Truth or Dare. Um... Uh, Dale. <gasps> you 
Um, I dare you to um, read us something from your diary. <laughs> what? But that's personal. Hey, a dare is a dare, Daisy. I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. Okay, well, I guess you're a big, fat loser. I am not. I think you should just read the journal entry. It's not going to be that big of a deal, Daisy. Okay, fine. <clears throat> um, let's see. Oh, just read the journal entry already. Jeez. Okay, um, dear diary, one time when I was five years old, my mom and dad got some Girl Scout cookies, and I really liked the peanut butter ones with the chocolate, and I decided I was going to eat the whole box myself. And my mom and dad said that's a really bad idea because it's going to make you really sick, and I didn't care, I ate the whole box anyway. And then I barfed into a bucket all night long. And well, um, it can't be really bad diarrhea that I in my yeah. pants. Love, Daisy. What? <laughs> That's hilarious and also really gross. <laughs> How embarrassing. <laughs> I'm so learning so much about you guys being total losers. <laughs> um, Sarah, that's kind of rude. Yeah, that was really embarrassing. I don't want to play this game anymore. Well, I brought my diary too, but I would never, ever read it to any of you guys. That's why I would definitely pick truth. Ooh. Well, I think we're done with this game. Um, that was really embarrassing. I don't want to play anymore. What? We just got started, Daisy. You want to quit already? Game is not over. Game is over, I say so. It's my sleepover. Uh-oh. everybody go to bed. Daisy, we haven't even watched the movie yet. Okay, fine. We can watch a movie, but then we're going to bed. Wow, that made her so grumpy. Just going to go ahead and put my journal right back here on my nightstand. Ah, this game keeps making me want to lay down. I'm not ready for bed yet. Stop it. Okay, I'm going to put my, this right here on my nightstand. And that way... Um, I won't misplace it or let anybody else read it. Holy guacamole, that was so embarrassing. Ooh, I wanted to see this movie. Whatever, I've seen this like two times already. Really? It just came out, Sarah? Yeah, I went to the theater with my friends to see it, and I watched it also on my phone. Wow, that's amazing. Well, um, would anybody like another snack? Yeah, I'll have some ice cream if you have any. Yeah, me too. Ice cream sounds delicious. Uh, Bricky, Sarah, be careful you don't get any of your ice cream on my mom's couch. She'll be really sad. She just got it. Whatever. I'm just going to Snapchat how big of a loser you all are. <gasps> wow, we said no bullying at this sleepover. Oh, you can go home. Whatever. I'm going to go to bed anyway. I think this is going to be so fun, but it really isn't. Well, you're welcome for the ice cream. She is so rude. Yeah, I bet you wish you didn't invite her now. Yeah, sort of. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Hey, Sarah, you're in my bed. Well, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> well, can I at least sleep on the other side? No, ew. I don't want you to sleep next to me. But it's my bed! I don't care. Get lost. Ay, ay, ay. Ugh. That was the most uncomfortable bed ever. Ooh. I'm just gonna pack my bag and go home. Glad I didn't forget my diary. Ay, ay, ay. I can't believe I had to sleep on the floor. Ow. Well, everyone else got to sleep in a comfy bed. Well, I better go get ready for school. Wow, Sarah's gone already? I'm going to write about this whole sleepover in my diary at school. Um, at, at school in my uh, study hall. I can't say I have anything nice to say. Wait a minute. This isn't my diary. Dear diary, it's me, Sarah, and Molly, and Daisy, and Pookie have the lamest sleepover ever. They're such losers. Why did I even come here? Oh, my God. 
This is Sarah's diary. I'm a good person. I'm not going to read any more of it because it's rude to read people's diaries. That's an invasion of their privacy. Now, where's my diary? It was right here on the nightstand where Sarah's was. <gasps> oh, I'm cheating. Oh, my God. I hope Sarah didn't take my diary instead. I got to go, go wake up Marty and, 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 and Pookie and, and, and... Oh, my God. I'm so freaking out right now. I can't find my diary and I think Sarah took it. Guys, wake up. Wake up. What are you doing? Why are you jumping on us? Ugh. It's still really early. Actually, it's time for school. And also, guys, my diary is missing. And Sarah's missing. Ah! Wait, what? What are you talking about? I think she took my diary on accident and left hers behind. She talked about how we were all lame and had the worst sleepover ever. And my diary's missing. O-M-G. We better get to school quick. Molly, what are you doing? I'm making a Snapchat about this. Molly, do not Snapchat about it. Okay, fine, but I'm just saying, this is going to be all over the school. <laughs> Everything you said in your diary is definitely going to be, well, public knowledge if Sarah's got your diary. <gasps> Don't worry, Daisy. I'm sure it's not as bad as Molly thinks. No, it is. You know it is. Sarah's a total bully. Uh-oh. Okay, Sarah, we're live in five, four, three, two, rolling. Good morning, everyone in this school. Welcome to your school news. I'm Sarah, and I have some very interesting thing to read you today. You're not even going to believe your ears. Oh, my God. Does Sarah have your diary? She's about to read it to everybody at school. OMG, who made who in charge of school news? I don't know, but this is going to be very embarrassing. No, no, not for long. Sarah, Sarah, good morning, everybody. It's me, Daisy. Sarah invited me on this very special morning edition of School News to, well, um, yeah, to, um, uh, read something very special. Okay, what's, what's that? <gasps> That's what happened to my diary. Yeah, you switched them on accident, boy. No, it was on accident. I thought I buried that at the bottom of my backpack. And then I couldn't find it this morning. And then I thought, well, I'll find it later. <laughs> Reading Daisy's diary on air is going to be so much fun. Ooh. Really? Do you want to talk about your entry from January 3rd? Dear diary, I had to run to the bathroom and... What? Don't tell anybody that. Okay, well, what do you say we switch our diaries back? Hmm? Hmm? Whoa. The drama in this school is so crazy. <gasps> okay, Daisy, just give me my diary back now. I don't think so. You give me my diary back first. No, you give me my diary back first. My. 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 Look, Sarah, you just have to give me my diary back. I don't trust you. Okay, okay. Why don't you both just calm down? Each of you put your diary on the floor over here, and then you each can grab your own diary, okay? Well, I guess that sounds fail. Your diary was lame. Well, I didn't read yours because I'm not rude. Ha <laughs> I'm gonna read both of them. This is some juicy stuff right here. Molly, did you just steal both of our diaries? Molly! OMG, Sarah, this is all your fault. Oh. My God, she's gonna read our diaries! That's it. Get up! Congratulations, Brookie. You got a great grade on your math test. I did? Oh my gosh, I studied so hard this week. You sure did. Great job. And Daisy, you also got a great grade. Of course I did. I always get a great grade in math class. Sam, you got a B plus. That's really good. It's a big improvement from your last test. Well, I, I worked a lot in my workbook this week, and so I think my grades are going to keep getting better and better. Great. And wait, where's Molly? Again. Uh-oh. Oh, she missed the bus. Oopsie. Ugh. 
That girl is never on time for school, ever. I'm here. what I miss? what I miss? Uh, Molly, you missed getting your test back. Uh, I didn't miss anything too important then. <laughs> Molly, you were the only one in class that failed your test. I'm going to have to call your mom. This is starting to get serious. Ooh. What? No, don't call my mom. Oh, she's going to ground me for life. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, 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 look who we have here. Hi, Mama. How was your day? I hope it was great. It was great, Molly. Do you have something you'd like to show me? Uh, how about this beautiful smile? I'm just so happy to see you. <laughs> Marty, she means your failing test. Dizzy, shh, be quiet. <laughs> yeah, um, Mom, I got an A on my test. Congratulations, and Molly, your teacher called. May I please see your test? Uh, I don't know, I lost it. Molly, now please. Okay, here you go. Oh, Molly, another failing grade? Oh, I'm going to have to talk to your father about this. Oh, no. Please don't ground me, Mom. Please. Molly, go to your room and do some studying. Oh, okay. How about I play Roblox for a little bit? Molly, don't push your luck. Oh, uh, okay. Whoa, that made a great Snapchat. Daisy, I can't believe you. You're so rude. Oh, I feel like I'm never going to understand this math. I'm such an ignoramus. Oh, I keep failing and failing and failing. Whoa, good to see you studying for a change, Molly. But I'm afraid mm, you may fail the year anyway. What? No, I have to be in the same grade with my BFF. Yes, I know that's important to you to be with Brookie, but the truth of the matter is you failed so many tests, I don't think there's any turning it around now. You're probably going to have to repeat your grade. No! Mom, no! I'll do anything! Anything? Okay, well, we'll talk about this more in the morning. Come on, it's time for bed. Okay, please, Mom, I, I don't want to fail! I know you don't, Molly. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll worry about it in the morning, okay? Okay, Mom, good night! Oh, no. All of my studying, and, and I'm still going to fail? Well, I mean, I only just studied tonight. <laughs> I guess I should have studied many, many other times. But, you know, I just, I don't want to fail. Huh? What? What time is it? Nine o'clock! Oh God, I'm late for school again, again, again! Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at school! Oh, why didn't my mom wake me up? What's going on? What's going on? Mom! Mom, where are you? Mom! Oh my gosh, I hope she can drive me to school. I missed the school bus. I overslept again! Oh! Mom? 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 Mom! Where are you? Oh, Molly, I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth. What, why are you yelling? Mom, well, I'm, I overslept. I thought you were going to wake me up. Oh, it's okay, Molly. What? But but the teacher said if I was late and I failed any more tests, I was going to fail for the year. I don't want to fail for the year. It means I won't be with Brookie anymore. Oh, no, Molly. <laughs> You're not going to school today. Wait, what? Was school canceled? Snow day! Molly, <laughs> it's not the middle of winter. Of course it's not a snow day. Then why? Why was school canceled? Is there another solar eclipse? No, your sister went to school, but you're going to be staying home from now on. Wait, what? Did I get expelled from school? No. Look, school hasn't been working for you for a while, Molly. and We have to try something different. What do you mean something different? Are you sending me to a private school where I have to wear a uniform and, 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 and I, I don't have any fun time at all? No, Molly. We are going to be, well, homeschooling you. Wait, what? No, uh, no, 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 no. Then I'm never going to see my friends, especially not my BFF. I'm sorry, Molly. There's no other choice. You have to be homeschooled because, well... <sighs> This is your only option to pass the year. But mom, I thought you didn't even like school. 
No, I don't like homework. I don't like having to do all the schoolwork. But I like the school lunches. Ooh, pizza. And I like hanging out with my friends. And I like gym class. And I like recess. And I, I don't want to stay home. Sorry, Molly, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Speaking of cookies, I left a chocolate chip in the refrigerator for you. Oh, well, thanks. Now, why don't you go get dressed? Why, can I go to school? Please, please, please. No, Molly, I'll see you after work. Oh, my God. I can't believe my mom's going to try to homeschool me. I'm just going to get dressed. I'm sure I can talk her into driving me to school. Mom, I I'm ready to go to school. I promise I'm going to start getting better grades. I promise. Mom? M mom? Oh, maybe she's doing some laundry. Where is my mom? Mom! She been in the bathroom? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna call her because I don't know what she's doing right now, but obviously she, like, left the house. Maybe she went for some Dunkin' Donuts or something. <phone rings> hey, Molly, what is it? Mom, where did you go? I went upstairs and brushed my teeth and got dressed and you're, like, gone. Did you go to get Dunkin' and can you drive me to school? Molly, I told you already, you're gonna be homeschooled. But you're not even here to homeschool me. That's because I'm at work. We'll start your homeschooling when I get home. What? But, Mom, that means at night I'm not going to be able to see any of my friends anymore. Well, maybe on Saturdays when we're not homeschooling. Mom, this stinks. Are you even listening, Mom? Molly, this is what we have to do. Ugh, Mom! I have to go back to work, Molly. We'll start your homeschooling as soon as I get done with work. Bye! Bye! Oh, I can't believe my mom. This is going to be the worst day ever. I'm going to miss my friend. I'm going to miss her. And all the other people at school, too. I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of am even going to miss Sarah. Ugh. One hour later. So bored. So bored. No one to talk to. Nothing to do. Ugh. Hey, wait a minute. I just thought about something. None of my friends are on Roblox right now, but I bet some kids from other countries are probably on right now because uh, their timing is different than ours, so uh, it's probably much later there. And I'll have someone cool to play Roblox with. What? Internet disconnected? Ow! What is going on? Yes, Molly, what is it? Mom, the internet is not working. I know. <laughs> I had it blocked. No Roblox. You should be studying. Ooh. What? Mom, I want to play Roblox. I'm not going to have any free time. You're going to be at work all day and I have to study and then when you come home, I have to homeschool? What about fun time? Molly, right now, all you have to do is concentrate on getting through this grade and passing. So no fun time. Wow! Oh. OMG. Well, she can't stop me from watching TV. What? All that's on is this raccoon show? Being homeschooled so lame! Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can use my phone to watch some TV. Yeah. Maybe some YouTube or something. Or the Amazon app. Ah. <sighs> That's more like it. Honey, I am home. What? I just started watching something on my phone. No, 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 no. It's time for homeschool. Oh, really? Do we have to? Yes, Molly. Head over to the computer and we'll start our work. Ugh. You mean the internet finally works? Can I play Roblox? No, Molly. What we need to do is lots of schoolwork. Starting with math. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Molly, I can't believe you're being homeschooled. Hi, Brookie. Uh, now's not a good time. Molly's actually doing her homeschooling. Wait, what? You have to do your homeschool after school? Yeah, it really stinks. Do you want to come outside and play soccer for a little while? No! Sorry, Brookie, she can't come outside and play soccer. She's doing her schoolwork. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, man, Molly. I feel like we're never going to see each other anymore. Uh-oh. I know. I thought failing this grade would be the worst thing ever. But not being able to see you at all is the worst thing ever! Come on, Molly. Molly, did you turn Roblox back on? Come on. Pull up your homework so we can get started. Ugh. Everything's homework now because I go to school at home!
Hey everybody, how's homeschooling going? Terrible! I don't think it's going so bad. Okay, Molly, why don't you answer number three? Oh, that's easy, it's um, B. Daisy, please let your sister answer. B! Wow! Okay, we'll have fun going to school after school. I'm going to go outside to play soccer with Bookie. <laughs> Alright, Molly, can you give me the answer to number three, please? My brain hurts so bad. It's never had to work so hard before. Mom, you're such a bad teacher. You're mean and strict. Molly, seriously, let's just get this done, okay? Before it's 10 o'clock at night? Fine. The answer is A. What? No, Molly. Have you not been paying attention at all? I am paying attention, Mom. I'm just an ignoramus. Molly, don't say that. Mom, please, let me go back to school, please! Three hours later. Molly, we're only on question number 10. Please understand this work. Oh, I have to get up for work in the morning in just a few hours. I don't understand. Ugh, I give up. I'm always going to be dumb. Molly, you're not dumb. You just learn different than other people. And I'm not sure I'm the qualified teacher for you. Maybe we should send you back to school. Wait, what? Are you serious? Well, there's going to be some rules. Obviously, I'm not a very good teacher. Oh, I thought it was going to be good at homeschooling. And I thought you'd do better here, but it seems that you aren't getting the schoolwork here either. That tells me that you need someone to explain it to you that, well, understands how you learn. Really? Someone could teach me how I learn? Yeah, that person is a special teacher called a tutor. Now, here's the rules if you go back to regular school. One, you will do your homework and you will study for one hour every night. And every other night, you will work for one hour with the tutor. So, that means at 5.30, you can go out with your friends. Really? Yep. You can go out with your friends until 7 o'clock when we eat dinner. Oh, at least I'll get to see Brookie for an hour and a half. That's way better than never. Do you agree to these rules, Mom? Yes, Mom. I agree. I will do my best to do my homework and study for one hour every night. And then every other night, spend one hour with the tutor. <laughs> Great. Oh, I'm so relieved because I am terrible at teaching. But I'm sure the tutor is going to be able to teach you in a way you can learn. Okay, Molly, so what is the answer to question number three? Well, Mr. A, it looks like it's, um, D. Correct. Really? I'm not an ignoramus? Nah. You just needed someone to teach you exactly how you learn. Wow, this is amazing, miraculous even. Okay, Molly, I think that's enough for today. Really? I can go play with my friends? You sure can. Great job. I'll see you in two days. Thank you. Ah, phew. I'm not going to fail my grade. And I like my tutor. And I don't feel dumb. And Brookie is going to be here any minute. Hey, Molly. Oh, you scared me. I didn't even hear you sneak up behind me. <laughs> I'm so ready to hang out with you, Molly. I've missed you the last few days. Me too. I'm glad that I get to come back to school tomorrow. Well, just don't forget who the biggest brain in the school is. Uh, not for long, Daisy. I have a tutor, and I'm getting smarter by the day. Well, we may be genetically related, but you're nothing like me. <laughs> That's right. My brain's even bigger. Take that back, Molly. Nope. My brain is bigger. My brain is bigger. <laughs>